Alright, watching Keyshawn Davis go to work right now. Next episode of the relay will be up after immediately after uh immediately after um Herring versus Frampton. I already finished it. I just didn't want to distract guys from the cards. The Uzbek card was pretty good. MJ looked all right. Uh, I saw people complaining about the stoppage. Uh, some people thought the stoppage was premature. I didn't. Uh, Iwasa was taking a lot of clean shots. Even if he was taking them well, he was still getting hit clean, and he wasn't doing nothing about it. It was good tone. was good and tangible. But he was getting clean. He got backed off. He was getting clean. He got backed off again. He was getting hit uh, clean again. And he was already uh, taking some heavy shots. So, I mean, like, I didn't complain about the stoppage. I'll admit it did look like Iwasa could have went on, but I understand why the ref did it. It's not the worst stoppage I've ever seen, certainly not the best. Uh, Madrimov, he, he's a fun guy to watch, but he's vulnerable, man. Like, he, he's vulnerable. Like, he can he can be gotten to. Yeah, MJ looked really good. He looked the best out of everybody on the whole card to me. I like the card. I like they had a DJ. They had dancers and all of that. They had a dude doing karaoke up there. I don't know who that guy was. He's probably like Michael Jackson in Uzbekistan or something. But, he, you know, he could sing. He, he's singing all right. I liked it. Um, Yeah, man. Watching Keyshawn Davis go to work here. Shoots the jab. Yeah, but those those were just bring along fights. That's the other thing. Like I saw people complaining about the matchmaking, but those are bring those was bring along fights. I saw some people on Twitter saying that the matchmaking wasn't that good, but you know, those those were bring along fights. But that's that's all those were. A lot of those, you know, MJ hadn't even fought in a while, so I mean, can't complain. Nice little early card, prelude to this card for me. Uh, Nietas is part of the main card, bro. That's going to start at four. Well, the main, actually, the main card already started, but Nietas is, is part of the main card. So he's going to come on after 4 p.m. <coughs> oh, damn. 8.40 p.m.? You in the U.K.? Damn. What's the, con what's the uh, time zone difference? Keyshawn working him. Working him with the jab. The ever-present judicious jab of the very talented Keyshawn Davis. <sighs> Looking magnificent. And yeah, man, this kid's going to be a star. Uh, I got Herring. Uh, I got Herring on points. Um... I'm not saying Frampton can't win. It's 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 gonna come down it's gonna come down to the sharpness of his movements, being able to slip the jab and get under and around it to get close enough to Jamel to land body shots. Uh, I'm not saying that he can't do it. I'm just saying that it, it's tough. Jamel's big for 130. He's tall for 130, and he's a jabber and he's a mover. Carl is little, so it's it's gonna be on Carl to close the gap. It's gonna be on Carl to navigate around that lead hand and try to get something going. And it's not like Jamel's just going to stand there. I don't think. Jamel probably ties him up if he gets close enough to him to start landing shots. He'll probably tie him up. Or he'll take a half step back to line him up for a straight left hand. I was good he's standing eight. Appreciate that, bro. There's a lot of ways he could take advantage of the height discrepancy between himself and, and Carl. He could take a half step back, see if he could plant one on him straight left. Or he could try to walk him into an uppercut. Let him get around the jab. You know, let him keep navigating his way around that jab and set him up for a, a right uppercut. There's, there's a lot of ways that he can play it. Will Carl respect his power? I think that's a good question. That's a good question because Josh Warrington was beating Josh Warrington was beating Carl Frampton like a drum, and that was at 126. We know that Carl. We know that Josh is a volume puncher. But he's not a big puncher. He's not a concussive puncher. And he was beating Carl like a drum. Jamel's a lot bigger than Josh. He's a lot bigger than Carl. So, I mean, I think it's it's not far-fetched to say that maybe Jamel can get his respect. He's a better, he's a good counter puncher. He is a good counter puncher, but there's a discrepancy in size. That's that's the thing. There, there is a discrepancy in size. 
So Carl is going to have to get close enough to him to land those counter punches because Jamel don't need to be right up on him to land punches. Long as he keeps it long and limber, he could win this fight. He can win this fight comfortably. The pressure's on Carl to get around the lead hand. If Jamel wasn't so much of a jabber, which he is, he's a jabber. He uses his lead hand. He uses it all the time. Then maybe Carl, I would like Carl's chances a little more. But all Jamal really has to do is keep low Carl in front of him. Keep him in front of him. Keep touching him with the jab. Keep the jab out there. He doesn't. It, it, sometimes it's not even about touching him with the jab. It's just about deterring him from trying to jump right in and ambush you. So we, we're going to see. We're going to see. Intriguing fight. Intriguing fight. Very intriguing fight. Keyshawn is in control over here, man. He's in control. He got this. He got this. He's ooh, he's teeing off. He's teeing off. And look at the space that Keyshawn gives himself to add something to those punches. That he doesn't smother himself the way that Ammo Williams was smothering himself, smothering his work on the uh, Chocolatito versus Estrada card. Keyshawn gives himself that little bit of room, that little that little pocket of air, so that he could still put something on those punches. Looks strong. He could get on his bike, and if he does, it makes it that much harder for um, Carl to get off his shots. If, if Jamel gets on his bike and uses the ring, it's, it's, it could be a long night for Carl. So let's see. Let's see what Carl worked on to try to stay close and stay on top of Jamel because that's really what he got to do. He got to stay close to him. He got to stay on top of him. That's what he got to do. That, that's that's always the dynamic when there's a height discrepancy, especially a noticeable one like the one between Jamel and Carl. There's a noticeable height discrepancy. And Keyshawn is just having his way with this guy. Nice little body shot there. Jabbing, another nice little body shot with the left. I like how he doesn't abandon the body. He really mixes up the punches. It's hard for Ashley to know what's coming. He covers up because of the head shots, and before you know it, Keyshawn puts one downstairs. Gotta love that. Good variety of punches, no head hunting, good usage of the jab, good distance control. This kid, something. He's going, what the hell was that? This dude tried with the wow overhand right. Like, bro, who you was trying to hit with that? The ref? <laughs> who you was trying to hit with that, man? That's wow. But yeah, man. Good sequence of cards coming up. Very good sequence of cards. Yeah, Keyshawn is brutalizing it. Oh, he is brutalizing this guy. The <laughs> He's messing him up, man. Oh, you got to love it. It's getting spicy. Heavy lever. Heavy lever. That should have been counted as a knockdown because the ropes held up Ashley. If not for them ropes, he'd have fell. Keyshawn messing him up, man. He won't be going to the club later. Messing him up. Oh, that's a nice uppercut. This kid's something, man. He comes forward, but he's defensively responsible. Just outside of those punches while he's coming forward. Nice stuff, man. Nice stuff. Now, this one's on um, ESPN+. Plus. I, it, I, uh, it's on Channel 5 in the UK. It's on free TV, Channel 5 in the UK, ESPN+, Plus. if you're in America. Yeah, the kid's a monster in the making, man. He, he's something. He's really something. For him to be able to come forward like that and still stay on just on the outside of those punches while he's on the front foot, while he's coming forward, there's his mom. He's talking about his mom. No, no, that wasn't even his mom he was talking about the last time. That was uh, Ammo Williams' mom he was talking about. Yeah, him and Shakur is going to be something. Shakur is a hot potato, man, like. I understand it. Like, I get it. If I'm Jamel Heron or if I'm Carl Frampton and I win today's fight, I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't be looking at Shakur because Shakur don't got a belt. The bigger money fight for the winner of this fight would have to be Oscar Valdez. And let's be honest, 
Carl said that he'll take a Stevenson fight. And I think Jamel said that he'll take the fight too. But at the end of the day, Oscar would be the way to go. And I could not blame either of them if that's what they decided to do because Oscar got a belt. Right now, Oscar low key is the man to beat at 130 pounds. He got the biggest win. He just unseated the longest reigning champion at this weight in Miguel Burcho. So it's like, I would understand. I, I would not complain if if Carl decides to fight Oscar or if Jamel decides to fight Oscar. Like, nah, I'm not going to complain. That's a unification match. I wouldn't be mad if they fight Shaklor either. It's just that, come on. It, like, you know, you know, like, like even though they both said they opened with Shaklor fight, come on, man. Like, you know, you know. Uh, Nganu, I don't know how much Nganu can box until I see him in a boxing ring. It's it's different. It's different dynamics to fighting in a cage, fighting in kickboxing, and fighting in boxing. And one of the main one of the main ones is the lead foot. In in mixed martial arts, you're more squared up. In boxing, you got to have that lead foot out there, and you got and you have to keep your your torso behind it. So it's it's until I see what fundamentals he has. As a boxer, I'm not gonna know. Yeah, they saying that JD, but come on now, come on now. They were saying that Jack Catterall was gonna get in the way of um Ramirez versus Taylor, and I told y'all like they'll work it out, they'll work it out because that's a big fight. They're not gonna let Jack Catterall get in the way of that, and the same applies here. If the winner of this fight wants to unify with Oscar Valdez right after this. You think they're going to let Shakur get in the way of that? They'll probably put him to fight on the undercard. They're not going to let him get in the way of that, man. This kid going to be something, man. He going to be something. Monster. He boxes like he's been doing this for 30 years, this kid, man. Sensational. <laughs> Real stuff, man. I mean, I think personally he should go after Rockamoff. I think he should go after Rockamoff. See about getting the IBF. People still gonna treat him like a hot potato. That's that's the reality of it. He's a he's a he's a good southpaw, and and he's got good dimensions to where he could grow to go to thirty five, maybe even top out at forty, maybe forty seven. He's a hot potato. They don't want nothing to do with him. I think Madrimov is too small for his current weight class. No, I don't think he's too small. I think that he's a lot smaller than Jamel, than J than Jared, than Tony. But he's not smaller than uh, Tim Zhu. He's not smaller than Liam Smith. He's he's like where they at. He's kind of like where they at. Appreciate that, Daniel. It's and it's not even that. You know what the thing about him is? It's not that he's too. He leaves himself open a lot. Like yeah, he's fun to watch, but he can be hit, dog. And and that that's really what the problem is. His feet are not the problem. He needs to keep those hands high. That's that's the problem. Like you could do all that cute shit with Colombo. You can't do none of that cute shit with no Jermel Charlo. You can't do that shit with Brian Castaño. The Madrimov I saw today gets beat by Brian Castaño. Simple. He needs more fights. Don't move him too fast. He needs more fights. Hamburguesa. La hamburguesa de Mexico. Yo, you heard Chavez is fighting Silva, Alejandro. <laughs> you can watch that fight. <laughs> Uh, why does Chavez Jr. keep getting fights, man? I just, I don't know, man. Hakeem was good. I don't know why he keeps getting fights, man. It's wild to me. What is it? Is it is it that people want to be able to say they beat the hell out of Chavez Sr.'s son? What is it? Like, why does he keep getting fights? I don't know, man. It's wild. He like, yeah, bro. Like he's fighting Anderson Silva. I'm like, bro, nobody wants to see Chavez box. So this must be just to watch him get beat up. How bad could an MMA fighter beat Chavez in a boxing ring? I don't even know.
Yeah, Giasov is wild, man. Giasov is wild. He gonna be a problem. Yeah, Keyshawn looked good, man. That kid continues to impress. Very impressive. Very impressive young man. I want to see Chavez Jr. versus Tommy Fury. Chavez could go up there. He could go up there to cruiserweight, or maybe they could do it at Bridgerweight. I want to see Chavez Jr. get flattened by Tommy Fury. <laughs> That's what I want to see now. All right, there goes Spencer Fearon. Shout out to Spencer Fearon, man of the people. Yeah, it's this cat on uh, Twitter. He's he's super duper mad that Terrence Crawford is guaranteed more money up front than Spence. I don't know why people argue about this stuff because there is no argument. You can look it up. That doesn't mean that all Spence made was his guarantee for a fight, but that does mean that Terrence Crawford is guaranteed more up front from ESPN than Errol Spence Jr. is. All right, if you know better, show me an article or something. Otherwise, stop arguing. Showing me a random tweet from Kopinger. Means nada. You've got receipts. You ain't saying much. Yeah, man, people, people are weird, man. People are strange when you are strange. Terrence Crawford, exactly, bro. He's Bulgarian, and so am I. So am I. Eddie Hearn has told reporters, a decision on Matchroom's UK TV future is very close and will be made in the next two weeks. Sky Deal is expiring this summer, and they've had talks over possible extension. But he said they've also got three other offers, one assumed to be DAZN. I think that they stay in bed with Matchroom. If it ain't broke, I mean with Sky, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They have an established customer base with Matchroom, I mean with Sky, and that allows them to target not just the pay-per-view market, but the DAZN market. Any DAZN USA fighters, you'll be able to see them on DAZN UK via DAZN. But as far as your fan favorites, like your Anthony Joshua and your Dillian White, staying in bed with Sky affords them the opportunity to continue, you know, putting on pay-per-view shows. So if I'm Eddie, I stay with Sky. I stay with Sky and I play with both markets because options are a luxury. And he's got options. I think they'll I think they'll uh I think they'll extend the deal. I think they will. People are strange when you are strange. No one's told to remember your name when you are strange. People are strange when you're strange. No one remembers you. There goes the champ champ. Is that Jamel? Yep, that's Jamel Herring. God be with him. The Chizam and the Wizife. They go to the champ. The zone can make different fights. We probably will never. <laughs> Gallo Estrada is proof that the WBC has been protecting Mexican champs, paving. I mean, we know that, you know, we know that. We know that. I don't want to come down too hard on Estrada because it's not like he's the one who scored the fight, but you definitely hit the nail on the head, Alejandro, because. It's like, come on, dog. What was it? Seven, 117, 111, I think it was. Like, bro, what the hell fight was that? What the hell fight was that guy watching? 
Uh, you got to remember, Jimmy, that fight got postponed three times and he came down with COVID. That situation, I, I spoke to Mark and Mark made a very valid point that, yeah, you could talk about the Okendo fight and how Carl looked and uh, how uh, Jamel looked in the Okendo fight. But how many breaks has, how many issues has Carl Frampton had the last couple of years? How many issues has he had the last couple of fights? To me, this is a 50-50 I don't know who's going to win, but I got to say I do favor the height, the movement, and the jab of Jamel Herring because it's going to be on Carl to do everything. It's going to be on Carl to get around that jab and get close enough to him to start landing shots. That's on Carl. He, he got to do that. So we'll see. I think Donnie Nietes is next. I'm not sure. I think he's next. I haven't seen Nietes in a while. I hate my paisanos come with me. We have 150 plus champs. I'm like, yeah, but most of them were WBC champs. One off and lost the belt. And they're fr ah, ah. Uh, You know, you know, I mean, it, hey, man, look, it's bad all around, bro. It's, it's, it's bad all around. I ain't even going to make it about that. It's bad all around, bro. That was good, JKE. It's bad all around. I ain't going to pigeonhole nobody. I'm going to just say it's bad all around. People are strange. And when you are strange, no one knows to remember your name. People are strange. Let me see. Appreciate that base. Got three different live streams for this, so there's my contribution. <laughs> I dig it. Uh, I'm leaning towards Jamel Herring, but I do view this as a 50-50 fight. Uh, Mark, what's good, man? Ring, how's it going? Julius, chat, people. Dealing with some Spence fanboy on Twitter. I got to stop engaging those guys. Like, those conversations are so pointless. Do you want to know what you really got to stop doing? What do I got to stop doing? Saying that you got to stop engaging with, stop engaging with those people. I mean, usually, no, usually I don't. Usually, like, nine times out of ten, honest to God, I don't. But some stuff is just so, like, bro, and, and I, I always forget that, yo, it's, it's like the conversation we had. You cannot underestimate how stupid people are. <laughs> if you give this man $8 million up front and the pay-per-view only sells 225,000 buys, that's a flop. 
especially in this country, because the networks take half. They take half of whatever comes in. Well, if they take half, then all of a sudden you've lost money. Exactly. Like it's, uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't know how people. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to know. <laughs> Yo, Tyrese said he's showing us he can drink and box at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? Waiting for this Donnie. Donnie's coming up next, right? I think so. I think so. I was disappointed to hear that uh, the McKenna Kazakh kid guy fight was canceled. Oh, yeah, because one 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 of them got... Yeah, one of them got... The the, the guy he was supposed to fight got COVID or some shit like that. Uh, Yeah, allegedly. Oh, you, you know, dog. You know. You know. They they quickly realized this is a bad idea for McKenna. I mean, Nonito Donaire's situation was wild because they told him that he got COVID, but then he had his own tests done and he tested negative. Yeah, so that Nonito uh, Ubali for for anyone who doesn't know, apparently he's penciled in for May 29th. Yeah, but I'm I'm angry that it's still going to be on Showtime. I was hoping that since it was in the air, maybe it'll go somewhere else. It still being on Showtime tells me that he knew he won't get the winner. It's not even about that. I'm pretty sure Ubali's the one contracted with Showtime. You think he's contracted with Showtime right now? I do. Mm. I do. Because that's a two my new way one. Um, I don't know which promoter it was. Um, sent him over to fight Takuma on that card with the idea of a possible unification against the winner, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> the thing that Tris Banner into the works is most of his fights have been on show. Mm. Hola. Senor. Oye, que pasa? Julius. I'm fucking pissed, bro. Ubali versus Donair is still on. Like, it's a good fight regardless of where it happens. But I was hoping... I was hoping that somebody else will pick it up because it's like, well, if it's on Showtime, then you know what time it is, bro. He not going to get... He knew he not going to get the winner. He not. We can fucking forget about that shit. I think PBC is going to change their rules once they start to get uh, in bankrupt. I mean, I, I don't know, because they still kind of doing the same shit, kind of. But we'll see. They did send Brian Castaño to Golden Boy. so But then again, what the fuck else were they going to do? Patrick was the champion. If you want the fight and you want the belt, it's either you going to come over here or are you going to make us an offering? We know y'all don't be offering people shit. Teixeira versus Castaño was one of the best fights of this year. I, I love Agreed. that fight. Agreed. Good fight. I think but, Castaño, but, I think I, I Castaño think it, beats Madrimov. Yeah. I'm just putting that out there right now. Unless I didn't Madrimov see the was looking better. He was getting hyped a lot. Like He was like the next the next big thing. But I, I, ha- I haven't seen the last la- Madrimov fight. But how did he look? He looked exciting but vulnerable. Exciting but hittable. You, you, I, I told you something, uh, guys, that Castaño ain't, ain't no joke. And people is underestimating Castaño against Charlo. They're saying that Charlo's going to knock him, knock him, uh, now, KO now, him. Alejandro, I'll tell you, that's how I have it. I think he knocks him out. I'm not going to lie. And I think he knocks him out because um, Castaño's front foot heavy, bro. He's front foot heavy. He's going to get in front of you. He's going to try to smother you. Um, I think he gives Charlo a handful for eight, nine rounds, but he gets clipped. I have never seen him hurt, though, so that's uh, that's worth noting. I've never seen Brian Castaño hurt. No, never. you haven't. It's a neither of I because he's never been dropped. Exactly. Never. He's a special I'm not. Player. I'm not that sure that Charlo stops him, Julius. I'm not that sure, but we'll see. I think it's going to be a great fight. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's a special fighter. He's like me. He's from Argentina. He's a special fighter. I like to say he, special he, fighter. He He's not like the hardest hitter in the division. Like, you know, Argentinians hit hard and whatever, but uh, he's a, a good boxer. He can really box. Well, what I like about him is, no, he's not the biggest puncher, but he's a volume guy, and he's going to be a handful for whoever, because he's not going to stop coming after you. Like, he's literally not going to stop coming after you. So he's going to put you in a situation where you got to do something. And that's what I like about him. But I really like Jermel Charlo uh, more than Jermel because Jermel is like 
He's no ducking no one. And Jermal Charlo has been ducking top names since J. Rock Williams. Well, I believe. Like, like I, I forgot, and, and I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it in the in not the next video because I already finished the next video and I'm gonna upload it after the fight. But I gotta I gotta talk about that because that dude is a clown, man. Like like honestly, it's it's embarrassing. Like bro, like you just ducking David, bro. That's that's what it's all about. And I, and I think uh, German Charlo versus David Benavides could be a good fight, but we we will never know uh, if Charlo keeps ducking David. You know. I think that um I I, I think it's pay per view worthy. I'll go as far as saying that. I yeah, think of course. Like and the, just the build up is gonna be insane. But I hate that Jermel is 30 years old and he hasn't to, uh, and he has not fight a top name at his prime. Since J. Rock Williams, exactly. Like to me, that's yeah. the best win on his resume. And what makes it weak is y'all know damn good and well that Julian had not fought anyone before. Like he literally didn't fight anyone in the build up of that fight. His resume was abysmal. So yeah, it's a good win, and it was a sensational knockout. But all right, what else, bro? Like what else, bro? Why? I'm trying to. I'm trying to see Jermaine <laughs> versus Sorry, Frampton man. here in ESPN three. But, you know, here in Mexico, uh, uh, Jermaine Harding versus Frampton is going to be at ESPN3, but it's a golf, uh, it's a, it's a golf course right now, so what the hell? <laughs> Doc, what no. is Jermaine Charlo's best win besides Julian? Uh, I would say uh, uh, Sergei right? Derevyachenko. Yeah, you, it's, either, it's, either, it's either Derevyachenko or a fight with Trout where... A lot of people felt like he struggled. Now, how much credit do you give him for the Sergey Didivian? Because it's like, look, I said I wanted to see the fight because I felt it was going to be a good fight, and it was a good fight. But it's not the fight that you shot from the rooftops about. The man was inactive for a year, and even if you don't think he lost, that fight he had with Golovkin, that was a war. That took a lot out of him. And okay. Okay. I, I, you get your you. I I know I know what you're saying, and I get it. And I'm not even saying I disagree. But if we're gonna make this a you know, a discussion where there's opposing views, right? All right. As you know, I'm a Libra. You know how we are. We gotta we gotta we gotta give you the even if I don't think it, I'm gonna have to try and give you the the devil's advocate point of view. The devil's advocate point of view is, well. First off, yeah, I, I thought he beat Golovkin. First off, all right, so all right. you you know that kind of, you you could argue that that takes away the argument of always oh, coming off a loss. Um, everybody's inactive nowadays. Everybody, and, and even before COVID, you know what I mean. Uh, compared to the boxing, I, I I know and love, right? So, so there you have it. I mean, you, either you think Derry Vincenco is, is you know. Or either you rate him as a, a top five, you know, at the weight class, or you don't. All right. I'm going to ask Mark. Mark, what do you think of Jermall's resume? Uh, that's that's how I think. <laughs> All right. uh, I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with let, that. Let, let me tell you something, guys. Jermel Charlo, Jermel Charlo has the resume of a 23 years old guy. Bro, Jermel Charlo no. resume looked like Jared Boots Ennis resume. Except Jermel. Oh. Oh. Except nah, Jermel. No, no, I can't. no, no. <laughs> that's a bit I ain't having that. That's, that's a bit, that's, that's a bit that's, extra that's, that's gone too far, bro. <laughs> what are we talking about? You go no, no. That, that, boots, boots is that goes equi equating it with boots is a bit extra. I gotta say, I gotta like say. boots' oh, best oh. win is what? Are you both? <laughs> Come on, man! You can't do that to Trout and Terry Vinchenko. Come on, man! Or J. Right, right. right. Trout the Revianchenko. Like I'm not Trout. even being funny. Canine, even at that age, would be better. Well, yeah. nearly hundred. He wasn't a thousand years old when he fought him, right? <laughs> He's still a massive champion. You know, he was still know, what champion. boxer is? You know what boxer is 1,000 years old and is still being a problem? Regal. Oh, no. Donny Nietes. Don Donny Nietes. Nietes. Don Nietes. Es verdad, es verdad. Yeah. Don bueno, vamos a ver. We'll see. Because I don't no. know. I haven't seen him in two years. He's still a problem. Nanito Donny Nanito Donny Nanito is the one. Nanito Donaire is the one who's that age and still a problem. 
Yeah. And yeah. and has he's one resume. he's one Dalton just old too. No, Nico's getting in the hall, man. He's getting in the hall. He better. And if he doesn't, he I'm gonna be asking some questions. Yes, yes, I agree. He's I agree. In the hall, man. Four division. Ain't he four division champion? Four. Yeah, he's four. Yeah. yeah. And, and and fought. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Mark. Fought piles of quality fighters. Yes. Piles. Absolute amazing quality. But here's the thing. Let's say he beats Nordino Abali. He'll be the first three-time bantamweight champion in the history of our sport. If he beats Ubali at his age, that 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 would be highly highly but, impressive. To but just think about that. He'd also have that the first three time Bantam champion. You know, you know, Ubali's mm. no spring chicken. That little dude is thirty four. He's thirty four. Yes. Well, he's is not he that, that young old? either. Holy shit! Whoa, whoa! Is he that? Is he thirty four? Yeah, man. He's well, a, I will say this I'm collectively fine. in terms of age, right? I think fights will age you, and Nanito has been in wars, <laughs> and yeah. Ubali's. And Ubali hasn't really, but it is what it is, you know. Well, okay, let, 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 let me, let me, let me to your point, to your point, to your point you just made, Mark. Let's uh, all of us just be honest. Going into the fight with Anui, how did everybody think that was going to go? I thought he was going to get I picked the new way on points. Yeah, okay, you thought it was going to go the distance. Ring, it sounds what? like you thought he was going to get smashed. What are mm -hmm. you talking about? We're talking about what we thought was going to happen before. In other words, without without hindsight, what did we think going into that Anui Donaire fight? I ain't going to lie, I'm with Ring. I pretty much thought Do old man Donaire was going to oh get Oh my spent. God, Tony Nietes is in a boxing mm -hmm. ring. Again. Let me tell you something. All right, real question. Do you think that Dubali can take one of those left hooks from Nonito? If he line clean? No. <laughs> no. I that's seen this dude get hit with a left hook from Takuma and New Way and do the stanky leg and that's Takuma. Don't don't get bring up. <laughs> Tacoma. I call him Tacoma. <laughs> Yo, Fort Tacoma. Fort Tacoma. Fort Tacoma was hitting him with some shits in spots. And he Fort don't Tacoma. hit hard at all. He's better fisted. Yo, yo, he, Julius, I have a little story about Nonito, but uh, can you translate for me? It's gonna be in Spanish. He's very short. He's very okay. short. Estaba en la pelea de un amigo eh, que es boxeador profesional y conocía, ¿conoces o te suena el nombre de César Corazón Juárez? Sí. Ah, bueno, César Corazón Juárez peleó con Nonito Donaire y platiqué con él, un tipo muy agradable, uh -huh. y me dijo que, que el boxeador con la mayor pegada que ha enfrentado es Nonito. Dicen que César Juárez, you know, he actually got to meet César Juárez. And Sessa told him, no, Nito's the strongest puncher that he ever fought. I believe it. He, he, I he heard it was dynamite. Because yeah. nearly he, everybody he, who's been in that ring with Nito has said the same thing. He's, he's, he has bricks in his hands. Bro, Donnie he looks he, all right. He, I just, uh, Donnie Nieto's appreciation moment. Donnie yeah. looks all right. Donnie looking smooth, man. So far. Yeah, yeah Nito kind of turned into like a Danny Jacobs after the uh, Regal loss, though. Like I, 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 I use that comparison because Danny Jacobs has all the power in the world. Uh, I don't think people actually notice how much power Danny Jacobs has, but he end up getting into back and forth matches when nobody gets knocked out. It's oh. so weird. All I know is that Bantam at Bantam and below, if if Donaire touches you with that left hook, you are going to be in trouble. Let me so tell you Danny something. Jacobs, Nonito Donaire. Anybody good at one sixty eight? So say that again, Ring. Danny's at, Danny's at 168 now, right? Mm. He's back with Andre Rosier. Mm. Does he beat anybody good there, in your opinion? Give, give, give me some names. Give me some examples. You think he beats Caleb Plant? Ooh. Yes. I, I, no. I, think, yeah. I, I, I think that. I, I don't know who wins that fight. I, as for my position, I think he can. I think he can. He's he's absolutely Ryder. not. He, he, gets to, he gets cool. Ryder, Ryder. He beats Ryder. He beats Ryder. I'll answer. I'll answer. Unless he drastically drastically changes from what I've seen from the Chavez and the um, the Rosado performances. No. No. Mm. Where he is right now, he looks shot. Mm. I'd say I'd say he's on the downside. I don't know about I think shot, he's on I the James the Gale downslide, bro. Ooh. ooh that's, if that's... Gabe Rosado had have actually thrown some punches in that fight, he could have hurt Danny. I don't think see shot is strong. Shot is saying that if this dude get hit wrong, he'll go out. I don't see that. I see a fighter that's not motivated. That's what I see. That I think his skill. I, I think a lot of his like skills and everything are gone, bro. 
I, man, I, I, I'm, man, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm Baker. in the middle. I think he's. I think he's on the downside, but I think he he can still beat. Like I think he could beat John Ryder, for example. I'd be. I'd favor him there. I think Plant. 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 I'm not, I'm not really proven, sure. So if I think that's 50, he beats 50. John Ryder. Let me say this. Yeah, I, I yeah, don't he think he beats John Ryder too. I, I don't think he beats Benavides. I'll say no. Nah, I don't think there. he beats Benavides. He ain't beating Benavides. Yeah, too old. But he beat Billy Joe Saunders. Ooh. Nah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. No, could, now, hang on. We're saying could. We're not saying would. We're saying could. If you're asking oh, me, could. No, the Nani thing is fucking no. possible. You could be all these guys. No, you? I'm talking. I think that's like a 60 40 fight. I mean, what's Billy Joe done? I don't know. That's true. I, he was Billy, struggling with Coach Saris. He didn't uh, put him in Coach Saris' fight. Uh, uh, Billy Joe was still put away still Martin Murray. And, and hey, Jacobs, Jacobs is a lot of things, but he is not no one handed fucking David Lemieux. That's true. No, wait, hold, 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 hold up now. Hold now up David now. Lemieux is shot. He shot. If you want to talk about shot, he shot. Max Burzak. I, 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 I want to say something really fast about Nonito Donaire. Mm. He was uh, one. Um, he was Roy Jones Jr. at Super Flyweight. Yes. Yes. Who? Donaire was the equivalent of Roy Jones Jr. at Superfly. Uh, yeah, same but, money punch that left hook. Yeah, that, that's a fair. That's I, a fair. I mean, he, man, Danny, Danny. I think he, oh. when Danny was coming up, when Danny was coming up, like, don't get me wrong, he was fighting a lot of like no names coming up because he had like I think his first title shot was uh, after his thirtieth fight or no, no no I'm taking that back it was his late twentieth fight. Um, I think it was. What was it? Was it Peter? Was it Pete? What's the guy's name? Pierre? Was that a title? No, 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 that wasn't a title fight. That was Pierre. the guy. This so, night. so, when was his? When was his first title fight? Was it in his thirties? Like, like his thirtieth fight with Triple G? No, what, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um, wasn't it the Cuban guy that he sparked out in one round? Peter Quiller? Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it? No, Quiller? no, no. That was a. Or was that a baby belt? That was a baby belt. That was, that was a baby belt. I'm yeah, I think Peter Quiller lost fight. the belt was, before that fight. Was the Pirog fight for a title? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out when was his first title fight. But anyway, the point I was trying to make is, although he wasn't fighting a really lot of no, no names, he was fighting a lot of no names. When you see Danny Jacobs come up, like it's like if he got in there, he made it feel like these people didn't belong in there with him. Like he sparked them out the ring. Like this dude had power. He had split. He was his super ain't explosive, not bad, bro. Like, look, his resume not bad. Sergio Mora two times. Peter Quillen mm -hmm. took him out in the first round. Sergey Dvianchenko, who was unbeaten at the time. Nah, that's not bad, mm -hmm. bro. Jamal, yeah, it's not bad. Ja compare compare Jamal's resume to that. Think about some it. people. Some people rate selecting. Jamal's resume not bad either. That. Stop. Stop. Not... Stop. Come on, stop it, dog. Come on, he has the J Rock oh, Ren. He, a... he has the J Rock Ren. He has the tra... stop it. Wait, wait, wait. The, Ren, you... win, the most solid win, quote unquote solid, on Jermall's resume in recent memory is a dude that Jacobs beat two fights before that. Stop it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, so are you just do? Are you just doing this off of what have you done for me lately? Because we're looking at the resume overall. What, did, what, what, what have you done over? What resume does Jermall Charlo have? What resume, man? Like, it's what are decent. we talking it's not, about? No, it's not, battle, it's battle, not, battle. It's not good for one second. Hold on, real quick. Battle, real quick. You know the J Rock win, yeah? Who was J Rock going into that fight? Nobody. Jer I mean, I think his best win was like Nathan Gallimore or something. He was, a prospect. Exactly. Exactly. He was, pros he was basically exactly. a prospect. He was that's a highly that's not, regarded but, prospect. But but he he ended up becoming unified. So that's that, that, that don't for matter, that. bro. That's not what he was before he fought Jamal. Was he unified oh, wait, before uh, he fought oh, Jamal? Well, oh, we, no, we, we, can't, we can't do I, that, Ring. We, we, we can't do that. Let me guess. Hold on. Just by that logic, yeah. Joseph Parker's Andy Ruiz win is just a great win because he went on to beat Joshua. So that's exactly. an amazing win for Joe. It yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it, it's it a good that, win. That's Rivaz's that, history. Oh, that's, hang on, hang on. Now hang on, so hang on. That's, that's oh, not really on. good whoa, whoa, whoa. to the boxers. All of us, all of us here at one time or another, another have used some variation of, of the phrase uh, uh, an age or a win aging well. Doc, let me say this. Let me just say this. Have we not? I'm just saying. Wait, wait, let, let me let me exactly. just say this. Exactly, we have. Wait, let me say this. 
I thought Andy Ruiz was a good win, and it had nothing to do with fucking Anthony Joshua, and the video was still up. I said, Andy Ruiz is a good fighter. I've seen him. And yeah, I, I said that, that too. Bro, that, and wait. I'm not re When I said that Andy was a good win, and it's aging well because of things that he's done, that doesn't change that he was a solid fighter at the time of the Joseph Parker fight. Now, Julian Williams, nah, he wasn't really that. Like, bro, I picked, for, I picked motherfucking more than that. I mean, he was, like, you ain't beat nobody, bro. No, nah, that's we, 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 we yeah, can't a, really do that. You in a, a, you a, in a fight game. I, I, was, I was just talking about this. You remember you remember that long conversation we had about these people not giving uh Mel the, cre Mel the credit he deserves at 154. When you are constantly fighting your best competition, the best competition will lose, and they will have to put themselves back up bro. to the, to the higher no, degree, no, no, so you no, can't. No, no. You can't. You're not gonna sell me that. You're not gonna sell me that Williams was the best competition. Let's call a spade a spade. Both of y'all was there. It, it was, Another, bro. Hold the fuck up, damn. Now both of y'all was there. You didn't fucking fight Lara, and he was the man to beat at that weight, and you fucking know it. Yeah. You fucking know it. That's Everybody true. knows Lara was the man to beat. At 154, and hell just, froze, hell just froze over because I, I just heard Julius put a bar. No, over. because he was though. <laughs> low key, he was like, like you he know, was, how, you know, like yeah, and that and Law and Law got like beat, Lara. and Law got beat Lara. back. But that but was Lara, the that, we're going to play all of this logic. And you this can't problem. do that. Oh, yeah, he beat this guy. Hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on. You Yo can't do that, that man. Oye, que coño, que yo te lo dije la última vez. Little parliamentary procedure here, people. Come on. If, if you're gonna play the whole game, it's okay. It's like, yo, like, why do we have to, like, I don't understand why Paul gets this vote of, for what, bro? Like, he's not doing nothing. He ain't been doing nothing. Mel has a better resume than fucking Maul. Technically, Jared Hurd has a better resume than fucking Maul. He fought Lara. The fuck he fought Tony Harrison. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, so. it. Stop it. He fought Tony Harrison and stopped him. That's the same Tony Harrison that took the belt from your brother. Heard got a better resume at junior middleweight than fucking Maul. So cut so, this okay. shit out. Uh, okay, so because Jamel didn't fight Love, that just discredits his wins too. Who did he beat? Old Trout. Old Trout and and, and that's and, and, that's also one of Jamel's best wins, so that's not even fair. I don't call no, I don't. You say that, I don't say that. I don't even count Trout as one of his best wins. I don't. I thought he was washed when he fought the both of them. Like, nah, this dude gonna get his ass. Hey, break, breaking news: DMX is dead. I know he's still smoking crack, man. He's still no, but he's crack. dead. He died. Yeah. He died. Yeah, DMX is dead. Nah, nah, come on. Nah. Oh fuck! What a year! What a fucking year, man. I mean, man, you gotta stop being so, so, so. Uh, how do I put this? You can't be biased, man. You can't be biased. That's not a bias, dog. You biased for Jamal, and you already said you like you fuck with that dude. I don't fuck with that. No, dude. no, no, no. I, I said I mess with Jamal. You are I biased fuck. for Jamal, like I am biased for Efe Ajakba. I'm just like, no, you gotta like, let's, let's, let's be honest. Jamal, Jamal, Charlo, Jamal Charlo has a thin resume. Demetrius, yes. he has a thin resume. They both do. Uh, That's not wait, wait a minute. Damn. That's not me being biased. I'm calling a spade a spade. At 160 pounds, Billy Joe Saunders has a better resume than the both of them. At 160 yes, but, pounds. He got okay, Chris so, Bank Jr., John Ryder, David Lemieux, motherfucking um. Motherfucking Willie Monroe, Andy Lee, Andy Lee. Willie Monroe, Willie Monroe. Okay. Yo, wasn't Jamal gonna fight Willie Monroe? Don't don't see what I'm he, he, about. He, like, what games yeah. are you? Why are you trying to talk up Jamal to me like I didn't follow his career? He was literally gonna fight Willie Monroe after he, Billy he, Joe saw the ah, yeah, he, 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 he was. He was like, I, I remember. Turn that shit off. Yo, what are you trying to do? But I understand no, you were trying to battle. Don't Hang do on. that shit. Don't do that shit, bro. Battle. Battle. Listen, battle. Battle. Like, battle. battle. There was a time where I think almost everybody here, because we've talked about it several times, there was a time where Jamal was viewed as the better Charlo. Yep. All right? That time has passed. The script is flipped. The word Who's is got third. the audio playing? Turn that shit off. It ain't me. It ain't me. Not me either. Uh, see you. See you later. I'm watching the fight, guys. It was a pleasure. All right, man. Take care, bro.
I um yeah, like I don't have no reason to try to like uh I don't even know. Like why would we be talking up Jermaud Charlo's resume for beating who? Well, you Hugo Centennial? Like what Brandon Adams? Like what are we talking yeah, about? Was, but, 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 hold, but hold up, wait, wait, wait. Dennis Hogan? So you mentioned you, you mentioned here's the thing. Now there you're mentioning no it. Thing. You just sweet on him, that, man. That like, thing. You, you, ain't nobody you can't... die over here off of Jermaud Charlo. Like, man, you what, ain't what, you. What, what, all right, battle, 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 battle right now. Oh, wait, 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 that's not fair. No, I'm not going to have it. He's I want to go I'm that's not having really it. Fair, He's ducking Benavidez. He's ducking Demetrius Andre. I'm not having it. No. So so this so this is so this procedure ASAP. I'm trying to watch Tony so, so and y'all are ruining that, it with this bull ass pointer you're talking. Well, hold, hold up, hold up. You're talking up. Who, who is he about to fight? Montiel, what's his face? And I'm supposed to be high off that shit? Well, hold up, hold up, Ring. So I, obviously there is a bias here. You can't accept the fact that this dude is ducking his best competition. So this is why you're trashing his earlier resume. I get it. I never was big. I look. I told you when we had this conversation the first time. I said I was big on Jamal. I was super critical yeah, on Jamal. Bro, and I and, and the roles reversed. The roles completely makes reversed. Makes it a bias battle. This is what makes it a bias, and it's not a bias on your part. On my part, it's a bias on yours. Everything I told you is a simple matter of fact. It really is. It's not an opinion. It is literally a fact. You don't want to fight Demetrius Andre. You already said you don't want to fight David Benavidez. You pump fake and talking about you going to make Golovkin an offer. Ha! The fuck you going to offer him? And, and dude, he wants COVID tests. He wants. He don't want to fight anybody under the age of thirty. He's talking like he's fifty. And years you need old. a vaccine. And you need yeah. a vaccine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what the hell? Yeah, but, 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 but what is that? I'll be talking up a motherfucker like that. <clears throat> so, so what does that have to do with his resume, though? There's nothing on there. Like, what are you telling me that beating uh, Sergey? Let me, me, okay, let me, let me break it down. If beating Sergey, which is the last guy that he fought. If beating Sergey off a year of inactivity, right, because he hadn't fought in 12 months or a little over 12 months, if beating him off that hard-ass fight that he had with Golovkin, if that impresses you, that impresses you. That don't impress me. I know what it says on paper. Jacobs beat you. Golovkin beat you. You didn't fight in 12 months, and then here comes Jamal, late to the party, finally fighting somebody. You could have been had these fights, bro. You didn't. So you, so you had you actually had Golovkin winning that fight. Which fight? What are you talking about? No, Golovkin beating Devin. I oh, know. I'm talking to Ring. You had actually had Golovkin winning. I had it six rounds to six with the knockdown, saving it for Golovkin. That's how I had it. Six to six okay. draw with a point going to Golovkin for the knockdown, and that's what saved the fight for him. See, the thing is, you're judging his resume purely off the fact that it has not been good at 160 yet because he hasn't been fighting his best stuff. No, he's got it, four. It, it, it was, it was, Bro, no, battle, battle. At, 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 at my most generous, the guy's got four good names. Trout, J-Rock, uh, Cora Bob, Derry Vinchenko. And then, and then what, what do you got after that? Yeah, I'll wait. Those are the best oh, wins. <laughs> Trout was not a good name. <laughs> no, no, I said at my most generous. I think mm. I know. I think I'd like to think everybody okay, knows what okay. that means. Okay, okay, and I was going to answer it honestly. Like, what is there to like about Jermall's career so far? You look bad against Korobov, and that's because Korobov was standing in for Willie Monroe. Like, like, bro, like the dude career is trash. Like, I don't care. Like, each, like, nah, I'm sorry. Mel career is popping. Mel 154 is popping. But Mo, nah. You, your shit is it, 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 that's that's not that's not even Can really fair. We... Um at this point, for everything we know, can we really uh Put the guilt on PVC fighters for not having all these fights? Yes, because he was offered $7 million to cross the street. And if you don't want to cross the street, right, Eddie Hearn said, okay, if you don't want to come to us, that's fine. Make us an offer for Demetrius and we'll send him to you. And they didn't make no offer. Okay, but, but that's, but that's I mean, not what we would talk. There is, hmm. there is any PVC fighter uh, accepting offer for other promotional companies. Brian Castaño. Any. Mikey, Mikey. Brian Castaño. Yeah. Revianchenko under Ruiz. Champions. Champions? No. But, why, but see, why do we have to use the process of elimination when at the end of the day, you know what it's about? You're, I'm a consumer. 
I consume boxing. I pay money to watch boxing. I am not that interested in anything you're about to do. That's the, and that's the only thing that really matters. People could hype you up if they want to. I know that if your next fight ain't certain people, you won't get my money. I might not even watch your shit. I like hey, that. And that's but here's the thing. Okay, here's listen. the thing. Okay, listen. I can blame uh, Jermar Shalo for being a phony, for talking shit and doing nothing. But for me, I can't really blame him for not having all these fights because that is the way the PVC works. Ok, pero te lo voy a ponértelo así. Él fue que dijo de que, oh, yo voy a subir para el 168 y pelea con Benavides. Y que cuando Benavides le, le puso presión, ¿qué hizo? Oh, no, yo me voy a quedar en el 60 y yo voy a pelear, pelear con Demetrius. Now you telling Demetrius, oh, you blacklisted. I'm not going to fight you. Like, bro, you a clown. Like, get out of here. Like, man, fuck your career. And even if, like, you a clown. Even, if, even if one wants to take the position of, say, you know, it's Al Heyman's fault because he pulls the string. That don't change the fact that his resume is what it is. Man, like this reminds no, me of this change. conversation. You know what doesn't change that that he said all that stuff. He said he's his own promoter. He said he's big champ and all that extra stupid shit. Yeah, no, Al Heyman didn't good. say that. Al yeah. Heyman didn't get on the microphone in front of a camera and say that. He said that, and he's thirty. So he's like thirty. He's not a child. All right. So if you say that. Demetrius Andre is a nobody, and I move up and wait to fight somebody. Yo, when when we were supposed to do that with Benavidez, nah, he too young and, and he need a COVID test. I'll stay down here and I'll fight Demetrius. And then when it, the Demetrius shit starts, nah, you black, like, all right, bro, you get out of here, bro. It's, like, we, it's we, I agree. It's weak. It's weak. It's weak language. It's weak language and weak positioning. I agree with that. Ring, I get it. You, 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 you ain't liking Ma right now. So his resume, it, it ain't, it, it ain't good enough for you at this point in time. But it no, is respect. No battle. Him. You got that backward battle. You got it backwards. His resume ain't shit. Hence, what is there to like? It's not. It's yeah, like, not I don't do like him. That makes his resume like, bad. Guys, yeah. shit, okay, tell me the one sixty pounder. Tell me the one sixty pounder who has a you know who what, has a better you know resume. You've done battle. You know what you've been doing? You've been attacking what I'm saying. But you can't even tell me what the fuck do you like about him so much? Exactly. <laughs> battle crickets. We got battle crickets over like here. About him so much? <laughs> battle crickets. What the fuck is there to like? The fuck can is I there to you, like? Can I ask you a question real fast, quick? Right? What do y'all think of Don Nietes in this fight so far? Looks good. Looks like he didn't miss a beat. He's looking he's smooth, like, but he is getting yeah. tagged a little bit more than normal. He's a little slower. That, that's okay. That's negligible. But that, that is I, ring rust. That is ring rust. But yeah, he's landing some beautiful, beautiful shots. He's stepping that's, in that's well, negligible. doubling the job. Now back to Jermon Charlo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, let me let me speak. Let me speak, Let me speak. Let me speak. Tried, let me speak. So, so here's the thing. I wasn't ignoring you because, like, you know, just to ignore you. I was making a sandwich. I just told you I had to go to work. I'm making a sandwich. Making a turkey sandwich. So come on, basically, come on, battle. come on, you better than that. You better. You know, cook up something. You better I know you're trying to cook up something battle with this fucking conversation. No, no, no I'm. I that. am. If you telling what? me, I'm not... you telling me, if you telling me that, all right, you don't like my stance on Jamal. That's fine. It's boxing. We have different opinions. I I accept that. But what I'm saying is, all right, at least characterize what the fuck am I supposed to be excited about? What? What is there for me to be excited? You're not fighting David. You ain't fighting Demetrius. We know you ain't got the kind of money to get Golovkin to even look at you. Who, who, you ain't got who, the money to get Mur Murata to look at you. you ring, ring. Wait, wait, wait. You couldn't even secure a Chris Eubank Jr. fight. And he was looking at you. And you <laughs> didn't even do that. That I was, was that. Oh, I forgot about that. That was supposed <laughs> to happen after him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was, was, was that not supposed to be the next... Uh, step after the Eubank yes. Korobov yes. fight, and and and, yes. and what and what Chris said, Chris Chris was the one hyping it up more because Chris is like, yeah, I'm looking at Charlo and Zaz and Zaz and Zaz, <laughs> and 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 nothing happened. <laughs> if he would have knocked out Chris Eubank Jr., I swear to God, I sw I'd have I'd have been so satisfied. But nah, you didn't even do that. So who you about to fight, Montiel, Montiel something face? That's that's what you doing. Fuck, fuck out of here, man. Like, Instead of making that fight, the PBC let him go. 
They let him go to Solon. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Let, let, let me let me let me say this. Like, Green, like, obviously, this is a bunch of pent up energy against Jamal. Because I because I started off this conversation saying that I wasn't even high on Jamal right now. I told you I was high on Jamal previously when he was at 154 before he moved up and I said the roles has switched I'm high on Mel the problem with I was the problem with what with me with what you were saying was saying you his resume wasn't wasn't anything and I was like I have a problem with that this, that just, in, me. this just in from the, the news desk of uh, news desk of boxing beats and rhymes Charlo pure trash exactly hold on beat said yeah. it yeah. Beat said that. Yeah, Beat said it. But battle outside Man. of the four names I gave you, outside of the four names I gave you, who does Charlo have on his resume? Combining everything, one fifty four, one six. Yo, ESPN. I, I mean, I can I can answer that honestly. I can and answer that I honestly. Hear battle. I want to hear battle respond, please. I, I, I can answer that honestly, but this is just discussion, so don't laugh because I know I'll, Ring. That's what you're gonna try I'll, to do. I'll, I'll, I'll mute myself. I'll mute myself. I'm not gonna say. So that. I won't. I mean. Uh, okay, so he has the he has the Canford win. I know I know a lot of people going. I I I, I, I know. Come on, dog. Come on, come on. No, what, dog, what, don't mute your boy. Stop. He what, deserves so, to be. So, why, why, why are you doing this? No, 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 the conversation. Battle. No, Battle. I thought we were gonna have an intelligent conversation, but apparently so, we, so we, we just so no, no, no but... Enzo, you said Willie <laughs> Canford. I thought so too. Shit. So should hey, I here's up... I'm wait, not... wait, so, wait, wait, so should I big up Spike O'Sullivan for action Douglas? Can I, do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean he was a he was a pro, he was a good coming can up prospect. Can, can I big up but... Mugia for Tiriano Johnson? That was a way better fight. That was a fun ass fight. No, 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 no. I thought we were just having a discussion on what are his best wins besides the four that he named, and I was answering honestly. No, 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 I said what are what what names that are worth that are good, not not what not 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 his. Hang on, not okay, okay. Thank you, battle. That's an honest answer. I can I can appreciate that. Those four wins well, you well, mentioned. Well, those four so wins you mentioned are, no, are his on, best wins. Hang on, my man's resume has four fucking names on it at thirty years old. He is a classic fucking textbook example of the mediocrity. You gotta let me hang finish on, the thought, no, 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 no. Now you got me fired up. I'm telling you, he's a classic textbook example of the me of mediocre American boxing yes. today. Yes. 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 Dang, Doc, you gotta let me finish a thought, man. Yeah, you, 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 you did it with Silky Wilkie. That's your own fault. All right, you did. You, you shouldn't have gone there. You, you, at, bro, you asked me an honest question. And I was answering no, honestly. I, I wasn't kind of hang, hang on, I didn't ask for his least bad wins. I asked for the good names outside. See, now you making it. You see, now you making it about sounds, jokes. Man. See, like, do you know how that sounds? If somebody asked me, yo, what's Jermo Cholo? What's what's a good win that Jermo Cholo got at fifty four? Silky Wilkie, Willie Camper. Who? That's that's what that is like, huh? And what did Willie do? What's his, what, what, what did Willie? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, well, I thought. Man, I, I I get it. Y'all just not high on, Jam on Jamal right now because of this because he's not t fighting his best competition. I get it. I'm not high on it either. Okay. So, I, actually, everybody, everybody, pause. everybody pause. Check this yeah, out. Lara going to one sixty now, right? And he's like a million years old. But the least that Jamal Charlo stop it. The least that his underachieving ass can do for me at this point in the juncture, fight Lara now. He don't have Ronnie Shields in his corner anymore. Fight him now. He's with Salas, I think, or somebody, but he so ain't with Ronnie. It, so it didn't mean it did it didn't it didn't mean much because that same Lara got beat by her, not same her got beat by J Rock. So it doesn't mean much now, does it? Not really, yeah. but I mean it's better than Montiel. Triangle than Montiel. you're trying to do. Laura, no, Laura so, still beats he, he, I'm gonna push back at that battle. Laura still beats a lot of dudes. He still beats a lot of dudes. I think at 160. Mm, yeah, quite a few. Maybe not. Maybe not the top four or three. I mean, I, I, we'd have no, to go I'm through names. Because this is what I'm talking what, about. Because we we yeah, hold it. Tell you what, Lara wouldn't have looked like that with no Brandon Adams. I know that motherfucking oh, shit. But then you criticize. But, but then you. But then you criticize Ma for fighting a smaller guy because Brandon Adams apparently moved up or something before he fought him. So I, I mean, I don't. No, I, I don't get no, this. No, 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 no. See, you taking it out of context on purpose. My whole thing with Brandon Adams and and Dennis Hogan 
and anybody not named Demetrius Andre is you said he's a nobody. You said Andre is a nobody. Well, who the fuck is Brandon Adams? Who the fuck? Yes, that's the, the thing. Who was that's Dennis Hogan? Thing. Context, the, context. That's, it's, it's not about, oh, you fought a little. It's not as simple as that. There, there was a fight on the table for you, a multi-million dollar fight. I want to see that fight. I still want to see that fight. I, I probably won't happen. And instead of taking that fight, you saying, oh, he's a nobody, and that's why I'm not going to fight him. But you got time for Brandon Adams. Get the fuck out. You a clown. Like, that dude is a clown, I'll, bro. I'll, I'll address that directly. That's not a good win. But the thing is, I'm going. I'm going off his whole resume. I'm not just going off of what well, he did at one six. And, and we did it. And we did it. We said for, we gave him. We gave you four names. I. I, I said. I. I to, to make to get for context. I said that my most generous. You got Trout, Franco, Korobov, and J Rock. All right. All. All told between one fifty four. Why, why do you have to be generous on, about that, dude? Outside, outside of those four names, battle. Give me somebody that's worth a fuck on his resume. There isn't nobody. Why do you? Oh, okay. no, no. There is a, and therein lies the problem. All right, now beats. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, 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 who was he? Nobody. Nobody. Who did he be? Nobody. He was a nobody. He's a nobody. And Brandon, Brandon did that at junior middleweight where he belonged, I believe. I believe that was a junior middleweight fight. But he, he was he was favored to lose the fight, though. He won a fight, he was favored to lose. And that's beats. That's fair. But the context of it is you turned down Demetrius for Brandon? Oh, for Dennis? Oh, no, garbage. I mean, that's all I got for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then we're in agreement. Oh, how, how is he? How, okay, answer me this, Doc. How is he garbage? I mean, not Doc. Uh, Beats. Huh? How is he garbage? How is okay. Jamal Charlo garbage? Okay, okay. Well, well, what what's your criteria first? And I'll tell you mine. What's my criteria for garbage? Yeah. yeah. Somebody who's trash in the ring, trash in the ring and outside of the ring. They basically can't put up a fight with anybody worth the worth the D. I'm not trying to curse. Worth the D, and they they actually are not fighting the best competition. Jamal, that's what you talking about. Jamal. Okay, well, here's my criteria. He, did, he didn't give his best. He didn't give his best competition Danny a good fight. Scared him, bro. Danny scared him. Look at his are eyes. You, when he are you serious, way. Ring? Are you like, you mean him, Danny bro. Jacobs? Are no, you serious, bro? The, the, the same question. dude. Come on, I'm touching M's. I'm touching M's. Are you he's serious, bro? Like, yeah, he touching that girl's ass. Jamal not touching no ass. Girls are stealing his money in New York City. Sucker. This is bad. Yeah, this out is of his Louis Vuitton purse. They're taking his Louis Vuitton purse. Let me give you my criteria why he's garbage, right? He's an American middleweight, yeah? So we go back to Harry Grimm. We go to Sugar Ray Robinson. We go to <laughs> okay. Crystal, right? We go to um, Hopkins, Hagler. We go to Reggie Johnson, if you like. Like, who people don't even know, they don't even heard of him these days, right? When you compare his resume to what them guys did, right? And the amount of like press time Jamal Charlo gets, he's not worthy of it. He's garbage. James Tony, don't Oh my Tony. God! Yeah. So, 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 so we're so basically we're supposed to take all the best champions and compare their resumes to all-time greats. Get out of that's here! That's literally that's the standard. No, no, no. I'm not hanging on battle. Hold on. Hold on. Well, let me answer. Let me reflect. So you're saying that Jamal Charlo is not Everybody stop. Ryota Murata has a better resume than Jermo Cholo. Ooh. How? How? Explain. Rob Brandt. Rob Brandt. Rob Brandt. Two times. Hassan Endom. Two times. Yeah. Those are more solid wins than anybody that Jermo fought at middleweight. And tell me oh, those best wins. Okay. You're, 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 here's where maybe me and Ring differ. I'm just taking the, the the his resume in totality. You're talking strictly middleweight. Fair enough. Fair enough. I want to. 
I'm Thank just sure. talking trash, is what I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> the, point the, point I'm is, his, the point is, his resume is no better than Maratus, right? And this guy's walking around like he's some big fucking player in the game. So I'm calling him trash. You're calling him great. That's the difference. You have no standards. I didn't see Marvin Hagler boasting like, like Charlo, right? And he was way better. If I'm yep. seeing you boasting, boasting, and you're doing nothing, you're trash, bro. You're trash. Listen, listen, Oscar De La Hoya's controversial win over Felix Sturm is better than the totality of Jermall Charlo's resume. Ooh, ooh, that's a, that's actually an interesting, that's an interesting point. That's very interesting. Let me tell you, right, he said he was going to fight um, David Benavides. Next thing, oh, I'm not fighting him. I'd rather fight Andre, Andrade. Listen, he's trash. The guy's he's talking, trash. He talks like he's an old man. He talks yeah, like he's yeah, an old yeah. man. And right now, you're, 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 you're supporting mediocrity. That's all you're supporting. Exactly. Mediocrity. Yeah, the, the there is a there is a historical battle. You have to understand that for some of us, I'm not, and I'm not saying this. I'm not. I really mean it when I say this. I'm not trying to be condescending. Just for some fans, we all have different perspectives, views, everything. I understand that. For some of us, there is a certain standard. In, in this case, we're talking specifically about American middleweights that has been set by the greats of the past, and he's not in that. He's not even not in that conversation. Bro, he's he not in that library. In uh, 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 okay, so no, no, wait, so really. exactly. he doesn't get to stand in the bathroom of the greats to pass the exactly. towel when you yeah. shake the pee off. He exactly. don't even get to do that. He's not in that conversation. He's not going to go down as an all-time <laughs> great or even a solid nothing. Nope, he's, he's not. not. So 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 who has who has, who has a better resume than Maul at one sixty? Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, really. Yeah. As, Explain. As, as what do you mean, as I've really? Been. Danny Jacobs, Canelo Alvarez, Matthew Macklin. Canelo Danny Alvarez. Canelo. We're, giving, we're giving him a participation award. Are you serious? Those aren't participation awards. Those are more solid fighters than anybody he's fought at middleweight. How the fuck do you come up with that, that um, he's got a better race than Golovkin? What are you talking and, about? And, and, uh, I, I, okay, I, so he, he, just, he, just, he just named Canelo. What, did he win those fights? He drew. Drawing he drew. Wait, 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 wait. He drew. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not doing the. I'm not doing the. I'm not doing the. Oh, I think. Danny Jacobs. Okay. Hang on. Wait a minute, I'll say wait a minute. Let me do this. Yeah. I'm saying that he actually fought Canelo and drew with him on paper, even though I think he won. But it, what I think doesn't matter what's on paper is he drew with the likes of Canelo Alvarez, one of the greats of this era. So what great did Danny Jacobs. Danny what Jacobs. Great I'll take, great hang great on. Did I'll take, fight? What I'll great? take Danny Jacobs. I'll take that Danny Jacobs win over all four oh, of the names that oh, we mentioned about, on. Sure. About, basically, you're giving him credit for not actually fighting nobody and staying unbeaten. No, no, I never said I never said that at all. All I all I did was all I did was say I never said well, are, are we gonna pretend like Jamal Charlie did not want to fight Canelo like for two straight he years? Fight Canelo. It doesn't are matter. You, it doesn't matter. Did he fight him or not? It's my he, he did, did he fight him. He, 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 he did not fight him. Right, he he didn't fight. Wait, wait, so so why are you bring so why are you bringing in all this stuff with the <clears throat> Why are you bringing all this stuff to who he's fighting now? Then we're talking Why about resume. That's what. Jeez. No, no, I'm saying y'all talking about. I just that. told you. I just told you. Jacobs is a bet. That Jacobs win for Golovkin is better a better win than any of the four wins that we, I gave you for Jamal. Miguel Cotto knocking down Daniel Gill is better than the total. Oh, okay, okay. Now we're getting. Now we're getting a little. Hard. Now we're getting a little. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Not really. Yeah. Not really. Not really. But here's the truth. Where does he going to fight? Daniel Gill was a former champion. Okay. When, when, his, when his brother said that he turned the fight down with Canelo, when did he want to want to fight Canelo? When was that? When was that? And that's what I want to know because Oscar <laughs> Ben said, "Listen, I, I I talk about it all the time." Oscar said they offered him something. Nobody believed it. Uh, when when Jermall and Jermall had that beef during the lockdown, what does Jermall do? I'm 154, Chalo. I would never turn down Canelo Alvarez. Who you think he was talking about, dog? Stop making excuses for the mediocre fighters that you like. That's you rough. can't even tell nobody yes. what you like about this dude. I asked you. Now, 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 I'll, 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 throw, I'll, I'll throw a battle about. I'll throw you a lifeline battle. If you just want to say that to your eyeballs, Jamal Charlo is a talented fighter, I, I ain't mad at that. I ain't he mad shit. at that. He shit. That, no, that's fair enough. That's your opinion. Shit. 
Awesome. He's shit. He's not gonna <laughs> fight nobody. He's not gonna fucking fight nobody. And he's right. bouncing around from from ducking David Benavidez to ducking Demetrius Andre back to ducking David Benavidez. He's shit. He's trash, bro. It's trash. It's trash. I wouldn't he's, even say that either. I used to be a big fan of him. He was the better. Tra- we were we, we, we were just talking about how how back when uh, when Jamel was you know getting slapped around for seven rounds by uh, Julian Jackson's kid. Jamal was viewed by all, well, pretty much everybody we know, as the better Charlo, and the the, the worms turned. It's just it, it's it is what it is. You know why Jamal is the better Charlo? This is why, and I'm gonna tell you. Moment of silence. He had to live through that where Maul is the better Charlo, right? Even though they're twins, so Mel worked harder where Maul coasted. That's what I see. That's literally that, what I'm that's, seeing. That's, that's, that's actually a very. I think that's a very accurate. Um, um, summary. I think My man Mel summary. got three of the four world titles. He's lineal. He's Ring Magazine. I'm gonna say Jamal Charlo is never gonna touch the Ring Magazine. Yep. Though. Mel, Mel heard heard us calling him the Glenn Donaire of the two, and and he, and he took it to heart and he did something about it. He's 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 the Ricky Stallone. What's what's Sylvester Stallone's brother's name? <laughs> Stallone. Frank Stallone. Frank Stallone. There he's we the go. Frank Stallone, Frank Stallone of the shit. He's the Frank Stallone of the shit. All right. Bobby, Bobby back here. <laughs> Glenn Donaire, that's Bobby what I was saying. Charlo, yeah, yeah. Bobby Charlo, that's Bobby yeah, Charlo. Yeah, Bobby Charlo. <laughs> fucking sucks, battle. He sucks. Yeah, he does, man. He does. It sucks. It sucks. Battle. Yeah. Battle. Yeah, me ask me. Y'all buy it, man. Battle, battle. He sucks. Mark. Mark. He sucks. Yes, he gets way up. See, I, I, battle, I, 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 hang on, hey, battle. I'm not even. I'm not as, as as against him as that. I think he has ability. I what pisses me off, like a lot of these guys that 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 we talk about, is to me he has ability that has been completely wasted, and he's gonna, as has been talked about historically, review viewed in in the future history. As a waste. him in the same conversations it, as Marvin Hagler. Fuck no! <laughs> if you bring that up, if you bring that up twenty years from now, you're gonna get laughed at. You're gonna James get laughed Tony, at. James told me, you're like, listen, um, Reggie Jackson, Reggie Johnson, sweet Reggie uh, Johnson. He, 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 he well, don't forget, he's not just a middleweight. He's also he's also a junior middleweight, right? That, he he's had that. Oh, okay, okay. Let me make quick. Let me make quick. Conversations of John. I'm gonna Bobby. back y'all up. No, where does he, bro. Where does no. he stand next to Terry Norris? No, no, no. You so don't even bring him into the. No, 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 no. No, even not even. Guys like Lamar Parks. Even guys like Lamar Parks, who not, not, most people ain't heard of. You're not, you're not as good as them guys. You're not as good. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is sad, man. This is very battle, sad. Battle, 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 no, battle, battle, battle. At the end of the, hang on. At, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, either you fucking achieve or you don't. All right. Yep. Period. Period. End of story. I don't want to hear about, oh, we don't fight like that anymore. Well, then, okay, too bad. Don't expect me to put you in the same conversation as the guys that did. You don't fight like that no more. But, 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 when did, but when did you hold, When did you hit me hold them to that standard, though? No, I'm just telling, I'm giving, I'm trying to give you, I'm trying to give you an insight into where I, th- I feel like, where, well, de- I'm telling you where I'm coming from and, and perhaps some insight into where everyone else is coming from. Be- be- beats, what, beats, what, beats what, what middleweight of these past 10 years has owned up to the grace that you mentioned? No, no, no. We're, we're, not, we're not talking about it. We're talking about it. Oh, we're not talking about it. Oh, we're not talking about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. We can do that. We can do that soon. Don't worry about that. But, no, 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 hold on, hold on. What you need to do, right, is do a detailed research on American middleweights. And then you have a standard Beach, Beach, we have the answer. Canelo Alvarez. Why would I need to do that? Why would we need to do that? He fought Daniel Jacobs. He fought Miguel Cotto. When when does Jamal, Jamal didn't do this type of shit at 154. He's not doing it now at 160. So what the fuck are we talking about? Bro, 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 bro. Danny Jacobs fought Piro, right? Unfortunately, had an injury, but he he was good, supposed to be the hero fan at the front, and he lost. But he competed and tried to fight the guy. This guy's a standout Eastern European amateur, and and he lost. He fought Canelo. I thought he beat Golovkin. He's done way more 
way more than Jamal. And just listen, just because you're 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 keeping your O and taking the back in money doesn't mean you're a good fighter because you've got an O. Maybe that's what you're judging it off that he's got an unbeaten record. But I don't mean shit here. Right? Most people are looking at the unbeaten shit you're you're, you're thinking about and thinking it don't mean nothing. That's not what that's not what, that's not what I'm doing. That is not what I'm doing. In 2016, I published a medical journal called the Panamarev Paradox. Because Panamarev, <laughs> Panamarev Paradox, there was this Russian kid, Konstantin Panamarev. He had an unbeaten yep. record. He had like 33 fights in a O. 30 uh, against absolutely no one. You couldn't even right. fight Luis Colazzo on this man's resume. That's what's going on with Jamal. The Panamarev mm -hmm. Paradox. That's what that shit is. You can't find a Luis Colazzo on Jamal's resume? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. no, no the ba battle, battle. But again, to give maybe a perhaps more nuanced perspective to you, it's the fact that the man is in his early 30s now. And, uh, what, and what did I say? At, at my most, if I'm going to be my most generous possible on his whole resume, 154 to 160, he's got four good wins. That's it. That's it. By the time Mar by the that's, time, Mar but, but think about it. He's, hang it. on, hang on. He's two years away. He's less than two years away oh, from. On, no, man. no, no. I'm gonna finish. I'm almost done. Then you can go. He's all less than two years away from the age Marvin Hagler retired. Exactly. exactly. I missed out Michael Nunn as well. I missed out Michael Nunn. Oh, God. Michael Nunn crushes him. Michael Nunn crushes him. In I the ring and, and he, resume. I ran Barkley. Mm, mm, I ran Barkley. Listen. I ran Barkley's resume. Crushes. 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 What are we supposed to remember Jamal for having done? Like, I don't even know. Like, what? We knocked out Julian Williams. Well, so did the banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he became that's and he true. became unified after that because that same J Rock beat her. So I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I, I'm not again battle. I'm I'm not I'm not as harsh as, as some of these other guys. But I, I I'm sorry, I'm I'm not having it either. At the end of the day, the bottom Yo, the banana line is the, the, the banana did more at 154 than Jamal did. He became unified. Did Jamal become unified at 54? Don't think so. Don't think. No, he right. didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't. Yeah. Right. He did. got a point there. He got a point yeah, there. Yeah, he, he, he moved Damn, up bro. after he beat him. He Damn, whipped that bro. guy before. He Damn, knocked out that bro. guy before he did. You know, he so, I don't know. He unified at 54, and he wasn't unified at 60. What, what is he going to do? He's going to go but down he, as a he, wasted he, talent. I'm telling you, be, uh, uh, Battle, that's what's going on here. He's... It, I know I, I I'm with you in turn if you're if you're gonna try and tell I'm again I'll say it again if you're gonna tell me you feel like the guy has ability I agree but that's what I, I find that. frustrating the guy's wasted it he's in his early 30s he's gonna be on the downside sooner than later like I just said he's that less than two years away from Martin years 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 I beat that again Chenko. that's what he's gonna do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and he got a dodgy decision over Korobov no, in the streets. I mean, I mean, are we supposed to totally. compare that to beating Vito Antifuermo, even? I mean, if we're really, really going to get deep into this? This is just bad, ain't nobody, man. Ain't nobody, what, what you're you're not understand, here's what you're not getting, right? Is you're not looking at the legacy that your country has produced 160 pounders. You're not even taking that into consideration. Uh, I, I know of those beats. You act like I don't exactly. know of them. But we're, I, I'm, I'm looking at him, what he's, what he's done in okay, no, his no, career no, no, no. already. I'm not comparing I'm him to the all-time greats. I'm going to tell y'all a secret. Two years from now, two years from now, on, now Battle who's Rifle who's is not going to be talking about Jermo Charlo. Two years from now, he's not going to be talking about Jermo Charlo. I guarantee it, like the men's warehouse. I guarantee oh, no. it. Hey, 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 you probably I'm not doing it too much. No, see, no, I'm just waiting for what it is. Battle, and for what it is right now, battle, it's okay. It's you're, you were breaking up your internet connections had enough of, 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 of your <laughs> 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 I love battle, man. He makes good sound, man. People are supporting mediocre fighters who could be doing way better and have had opportunity to do better. I find it mediocre fighters. He has a he unified mediocre fighter. Okay, so him having a unified mediocre. 
at, at him best, being one of the best, best fighters battle. at 154, battle, beating, battle, beating battle. a unified no, no, champion. No, 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 because what? How, he wasn't you know, unified when he fought him. Are you crazy? Yeah, it is. His, at, he at wasn't. He, he, he wasn't, but the guy is a unified champion now, just like Tony Harrison wasn't the champion. I, I, get, so I, beat, get, that. I get that. I get that. That doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, for the age he is at his weight class, with the standard as Beats pointed out has been set that has been set in the past, he is a his accomplishments are mediocre at best. He's David Lemieux. Ooh. How much do you rate? How much do you rate Andrew Reeves as a Lemieux. champion? Oh, AJ's resume. How much do you rate Andrew Reeves as a champion? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me answer this. Let me answer this. How do I rate Andy Ruiz like historically, or 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 in with our no, just as a champion. Amongst his peers, it, amongst his peers or, or as a champion. Amongst his as a champion, peers, yeah. Am, I, I, amongst his peers, I, he's his like peers. At, at, okay. He's he's and, and again, we're talking equivalent, the the, the um, relative, not 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 the actual direct comparison. He's I mean, like he's, he's like a Seam Rockman. He's a Seam Rockman. Wait, 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 wait. Andy's made history. Exactly, and he's comparing that to Jamal, who never. Man, come fight. on, man. He he. No, bro, he became. You, come on, like what the fuck? Come on, he what is about? About? I can give you four. I, they got about the same. They got about the same come number on. of of good wins, but the good wins that Andy has are way better than anything. You Jamal's can't even about. compare Andy beating AJ to what? Fucking Jamal beating Julian Williams? Yeah, Your come on, yeah, come on. on. That's heavyweight championship of the world, bro. Come exactly. on, exactly. Come on, man. About come on. We're we're we're, su we're supposed. We're supposed to give him more brownie points because he's Mexican. Really? Come on, that, that's, no, that's not how we do things. Oh, no, no, you said that. Nobody said anything about no Mexicans. Nobody so, so, okay, 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 fine, fine. Boxing beats. What did you mean when you said he made history? What did you mean by that? First Mexican to win the heavyweight title. That's exactly I mean. my point. Exactly my right. point. So why did you think I mentioned it? Let me it? ask you a question. This is what's bizarre, and, and, I, and I'm going to leave it alone because this is getting on my nerves. You comparing what exactly? Andy Ruiz beating Anthony Joshua in what the what's probably the second biggest upset in the history of boxing. Right. You comparing exactly. Jamal Charlo beating Julian Williams right. to that. That's the exactly. thing. Yeah. Be, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah defeating uh, defeating exactly. yeah, defe exactly. defeating the unified defeating a unified heavyweight champion. I'm in sorry. A short notice fight. On a short notice fight is better than anything Jamal's done. Better than what most of, most people have done in the game, to be honest. In terms of, in terms of any given single win, I'm telling you, two I'm years from now, battle. You gonna ask battle about Jermaine Charlo two years from now? You know what he's gonna say? I was bugging out. Man. And and, 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 and if we want to get deep into Andy Ruiz, I'll, I'll you know what? I'll take I'll take the Dimitrinko against you know the Trout win. I, I if you want, you know what I mean? I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'm not gonna. You're not gonna tell me that that either one's much better than the other. And I could probably dig a little red. deeper. Now his, his resume, resume, his, re his resume is thin. His resume is thin. If, if I wanted to be super generous to Andy, I could ar make the argument that I, you know me and a lot of people I respect thought he beat Parker, but you know, at the end of the day, he didn't get the W, and I accept that. So it is what it is. But but nonetheless, no no single win of Jamal's compares to to be. Listen, 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 listen. Let me Parker. break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. Right. The bottom line is right. If we're talking about who's maxed out their natural ability the most in their careers, Andy wins by a fucking landslide. Yep. 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 When, his, when, history remembers, when history remembers the champions of this era, Andy Ruiz will be among, even if it was only for 15 seconds, he will be remembered among the unified champions. Jamal will not be remembered. That's the truth. Nobody. Man, can. I, I, I thought I thought talking, we were real boxing battle, fans. Battle, battle. Look, you talking to like three different guys that's telling you the same thing, and we all old. We're old. Like all of us have seen different eras of the different cycles that the middleweight division has undergone. We've seen those. I get cycles. that. We've seen the that. cycle at one fifty four. You you can't characterize. You, can't you, you don't think I know. You can't characterize what the fuck is it that I'm supposed to be high on. It what? ring. Doc, Doc and boxing beats are the boxing historians in this chat. You don't think I realize who I'm talking to? The fact of the matter is, I'm just saying, I'm just talking about compare comparison to his competition of as far as 154, 160. His resume is okay. It's not that bad as you guys are feeling. Oh, 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 oh,
Anthony Joshua. Hold on, I didn't need it. Whatever. Listen, listen. We're not talking about Anthony Joshua. I am judging him by Frank Bruno, Lennox Lewis, Henry Cooper, right? Tyson Fury. That's who I'm judging him by, his peers. And then I've got to judge him against the Americans himself. And he's a little way behind the Americans, but he's in the top three, top four, uh, top, top two. What in the world is going on? I am scared. That's what he's judged by. That's what you get judged by. It's by your peers. Yeah. That's how it goes. Like that's 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 what every that's what everybody yeah. is inadvertently or advertently measuring the fighters against. And, and, and it's not just your fighter. current peers; it's your historical peers as well. All right, they both come into play. Now you can compartmentalize for the sake of discussion. All right, and and, and I'm gonna pull it up right now, just just to humor you, battle. I'm gonna pull up the current top ten middleweights, and, and I'm gonna go on mute for a second while I do that, and then we'll we'll talk about where okay, he ends up to his peers. That's fine. That's fine. Let's simplify this. Where's Jamal's best win? Let's go. Let's let's, let's get it out there right now. We can we can break these down. These four wins. Julian Williams. Okay, Julian Williams does his best win. Why? Julian Williams viewed by by he was okay. undefeated. No, let's go one at a time. I, I, if you're going to make an argument for J Rock, it's because J Rock was a a highly regarded prospect. highly touted prospect. That's yes. why. Same yep, reason yep. that let Lubin was mm -hmm. a, a solid win for Mel. Because yeah, yeah, that's that, that's, see if you, that's that that's rings not wrong. Rings not wrong when he says that. Right, right, all right. Okay. Anything else? We miss anything? Uh, Trout, no, Trout is, was a, you know, he, he was a. a no, no, I, we're still on J Rock. We're still on J Rock. I'm just we're, saying, we're, if you, the, the various arguments you can make for them are, are, are what they are. What's Mar, what's Mar doing next? So, so are we forgetting he was unified, right? He, he, like what's, what's more about to do next, man? What are you about what's to do? What's do next? I I I don't know. I don't know. He's not gonna do shit, bro. That's what it yeah. is. And, and and battle knows it. Battle knows it. He's not gonna fight fucking David. He's not gonna fight. But, but what? Why does the context of who hey, he's hey, fighting man, now? Hey man, he's not gonna unify shit, and you can't help him. You can't help yeah. him. Man, you, you know what? We're we gonna, we gonna, set, up, we gonna set up another okay. date. Okay, okay, guys. Here we go. Here we go. I want to get everybody to bit. I pulled up the box rec. Full disclosure. We all know box rec is flawed, but it, it at least gives us something to fucking go by, right? So here's here, here's the top ten peers of Jamal Charlo. I'll I'll start at number ten, and I want you guys just you guys just tell me who's got the better resume, the guy I name or Jamal. Fair? All right. Yeah. Number ten, Rob Brandt. Bree, who's got the better resume, you reckon? Jamal. Maul. Maul, okay. Number nine, Michael Zarafa. Maul. Okay, okay. Liam Williams, number eight. Maul. Maul. Everybody's got Maul. See, that? I see it. It don't sound so hostile to me by battle. Sergey Derevinchenko, number seven. Maul, I mean, yeah, that's Maul. Okay. Okay. Sergei, okay. Sergei's best well, friend. I don't agree. No, he ain't got a better resume than Sergei. I agree. No, so. Yeah, whatever, yes, B. Oh, whatever. Hang on, hang on. No, I know what B is about to do. No, that battle, let that, 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 that Beats give, give his point. Go ahead, Beats. At 160, he doesn't have a better resume than Sergei. Well, we're so, going totality. We're going to go totality, uh, Beats, to be fair. We're going to totality of resume. What, for as well? Yes, yes. Arthur is weighing at 160. But if it's well, 154, then then he, then he could come back into it. But if you're talking about 160, I mean, right? So, so, okay, it sounds like you beat you. Oh, it sounds like you're. Go ahead, sir. At 160, Sir Guy, right, has, has, has challenged more, more, more fighters. And, right, Charlo only beat him by a couple of rounds, to be honest. Can, right. can, I, can I just ask a question? When you when we talk resume, how much do we value losses in comparison to wins? That, that's that's, a, I, that's, every, that's what I, I want to talk about because being competitive with guys is good, but Maul beat Sergey himself, and Sergey's best win at 160 is cool K. Mm. Well, listen, yeah, but Maul didn't fight fight Danny Jack because he, he didn't fight them. I know, but he also didn't lose to them, and Derevyanchenko did. Right. Well, everybody's going to have different zero. criteria. You didn't fight Jacobs, and you didn't fight the Lofty. Well, let's let's look. look but hang on, let's let's keep going. Let's get. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now wait a minute, because this is the main thing, right? This is the main thing, and I stand by this. 
I feel Murata has a better resume than Jamal. I I, guess who's next? Guess no, who's wait, next? Now, wait, now, wait, now, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel Murata has a better resume than Jamal. Okay. I feel that Golovkin has a better resume than Jamal. Uh, okay. Demetrius is is on par with Jamal's. Not He's better, number five. That's worse. number five. Demetrius is number five. And 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 Jamal, I put below Demetrius on principle because Demetrius wants to fight you, but you don't want to fight him. And that's okay. not my opinion. Wait, that's not my opinion. That's verbatim. You said you'll never fight the dude. He said, "Yo, I want to fight." You said, "No." You blacklisted. Right. You All blacklisted. Right, so 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 okay. So you got you you ring. You got Murata and you got Andre. Who happened to be six and number five on the list here, uh, uh, right? That I'm looking at. So All you right. got them maybe edging out uh, Maul, Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, <laughs> on name value, on name value, Eubank has a way better resume than name value. Yeah, like like Eubank fought better guys than Jamal by a wide margin. Like okay. he has better wins. He has better wins on name value. Okay, okay. So it sounds like mainly a little bit. No, see, this, this is we're almost this, done. We're almost done. We're wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. I want to take a little bit of time out for Chris. Because okay, Chris, okay. Chris, for all his faults, he joined the World Boxing Super Series. Maul would have never did that. He would. Mm. He don't even want to go up to one sixty eight. Mm. Fucking, fucking Chris went up there, knocked out Avni, went balls to the wall with motherfucking George. Maul don't yeah. want to do shit like that. He don't. So fuck him. Fuck okay. Him, all right. Hi, me. Oh, we got two left, and then we're done. Hi, me, Mungia. I'm asking right. right. Even when you say he's better than Brun, Brun went in the World Boxing Super Series. What's Jamal done? You know, yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. They talk about Callum Smith. What have you done? What tournament did you go we're, we're, we're almost, We're almost there, B. So, hi, me. I heard hey, you. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute now. If we start talking about Callum Smith, hey, Callum Smith got a better resume than Jamal. George Groves is a better win than any win on Jamal Charlo's resume. Don't argue with me. Mm, okay. Jaime Munguia, what did you think, Maureen? Wait, 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 wait. Jaime, I'm going to just say it because fuck Jamal. He has a better resume than Jamal. <laughs> they got, I don't know why they got Jaime Patrick at number three. Alati, Alati, Patrick Alati, Saddam Ali, Tariano <laughs> Jones, <laughs> Dennis <laughs> Cogan. <Saddam Ali. laughs> All right? All right? <laughs> fuck the bullshit. And, and I know that, and I think everybody's gonna gonna say Golovkin's got a better resume. Or am I wrong here? Of course, he has a better resume. All right. Hey, okay. Mr. Well, Golovkin, and, and, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Golovkin yeah. is everything that Jermall Charlo wants to be, but cannot. Golovkin, okay. kick it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not done. Golovkin's right. kicking cans right now. He's just mm -hmm. getting seven million dollars to kick cans, not yeah. on pay per view. All right. But the bottom line here is, is you know. Battle as hard as you seem to think everybody's being on him, amongst his peers, uh, even Ring has him, you know, somewhere in the like five, six, seven, seven range. About you know, in there with Demetrius Riota, and you know, if we're going by the box rec, again, I know box rec is flawed, but we're just going, you know, using that as a frame of reference. So it, you know, as harsh as you, I seem to feel everybody's being right. It, it, it ain't. It, it, it's really not. It's really not. He's just. He's not. He's not what he's makes himself out to be. Come on, battle. Listen, bat battle. You're among friends, but he sucks, and it's okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Look, I okay. was high on his walk bail gono once. You're gonna be all right. I, I will never. And you'll survive this. I will never forgive you guys for subjecting me to this conversation while the. <laughs> I will never forgive you. Guy, <laughs> okay, Mark Bork, is this worse? Is this worse than when me and Beats put you through the whole Golovkin Pacquiao thing? <laughs> it's gonna be all right, battle. It's gonna be all right. Yes, actually, it is. <laughs> it is. Guys, I want to make a question. What? Oh, I thought he was gonna fight better Venus. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Fuck Jamal Charlo. Yeah, what do you, well, and, and the, the reasons he gave beats, the reasons yeah. he gave were weak. You got to have a COVID test and you got to, you know yeah, what I mean? I'm, and all the age I'm, not, I'm and, not having that, bro. I'm not having that. I'm not having weak. that. It's weak. I agree. Yeah, that was, that's weak. Yeah, weak. Mom needs to move up. That's weak, bro. I can't, I can't support that. Doing? Oh man, I mean, I he, 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 he's, bla he's brazenly ducking David Benavidez, and it's so obvious. It's yeah. like, bro, I'm not gonna, I'm not like, I don't even want to spend time on that dude. Like, bro, you don't want to fight nobody. You don't want to fight David. Fine, fight the we, we, 
we we, we got to have an intelligent conversation where people ain't ganging up on me. Um, and talk about. Uh, we can't gang it up for Charlo. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It ain't you, man. Don't take this so personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ganging up on you. Yeah, and, and and for what it's worth, you are a trooper battle. I give you credit. I give you credit for being a trooper. Yeah, hey, you, yeah, you got a better resume than Charlo. You got a better. All right, how do you? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm saying. All right, all right, now we got to stop wasting time on his boring ass career. Because we got the main event. Come on, boys. Yeah, we got the main event. I all right, no, right. no, no, no. We got to pay attention now. Who do you guys have winning the fight, Mark? Um, I'm going for Carl via controversy. Controversial. Ooh. All right, controversial Carl. I like that. That rhymes. Beats. Who you got? Same as Mark. Con controversial Carl. Battle. Yeah. Who you got? Jamal Cholo, all right. Um, Doc, who you got? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm with, with very little confidence going to go Harry. I got Herring on points. Yeah, Herring on points. I got Herring on points, but I could be wrong, and I'm okay with that. Uh, Leo, who you got? Herring. All right, so we got three for Herring, two for controversial call. Timmy, Timmy, you there? Who you got? Yeah, I got I got Carol, but I, I can't see the fight. I don't have channel fight in Ireland. Oh shit. Timmy, uh, Timmy, okay. Timmy, hold on, everyone shut up for a sec. Timmy, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Make sure this is muted. I sent you something. All right. Cheers, Mark. Thank you, man. I wanna see this. Now now battle, we need you to break the tie. Come on, man. We, I, I, I I know you feel like we ganged up on you. That wasn't the intention. Remote Cholo split decision. That's what he's got. Oh come on. <laughs> All right, go Bo Mac with him, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. Let's hope it makes a difference. Who's who's training, Carl? Carl's with um, God, uh, Jamie Moore. Oh, good God! But we know who has the better trainer. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's true. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't got no shame. No shame. Yeah, if no if he had shame, we we'd have another conversation. But yeah, no shame. No shame in the game. Right loose. Two two age, two aging fighters. Uh, th th that could make this uh, as beach. I'll tell you one thing. That plays, there's been a lot that, like I discussed this with Julius yesterday. There is a lot of intangibles, both politically and leading into this fight, that people aren't paying attention to, from court cases to hand injuries to COVID battles to a retina tear. Uh, it, it, man, this is a crossroads. I think the yeah, losers are yeah. town. Losers it's gone. A crossroads fight. That's the that's the best way to put it. It's a crossroads fight. Loser leaves town. I like that, Mark. Yep, with the pro wrestling there. Yep. I like the way they went down. straight to the main event. We didn't have to endure. Here we those. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're in the shit. We're in the shit. Fencing yep. with the jabs. That's what they're doing. Trying to find yep. their way around each other. Yep. South oh, against right Orthodox. Ahead. Don't wait for him, Jamel. Don't wait for him. Throw it out there. Don't wait for him. Yeah. There you take it to him. All, yep. all right, all right. Try to try the right hand of the body. A lot of fence. Try the right hand of the chest that time. Shoots a straight right. Herring. Backs off, Carl. There's a good jab from Herring. Finally, good first jab. Good real, jab. Meaning, yeah. real meaningful. First real meaningful punch of the fight. Good jab from Jermo Cholo. Carl, Carl's doing the wrong thing right away here. I laying back like that. I don't. I don't see how that. You, you can't win this fight from the outside. Yep. The he, can't, he can't land punches that. from the outside. Sorry. The reason he's doing that, though, is because, like, like, my man's hesitant to shoot right hands. So he can bounce around a little, even like smaller. Yeah. No, shoot right hand. Look, shoot right. Left, left hand. hand. Yeah. There he tried to jump. Oh, left hand, I said. The back hand. The back yep. hand. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. Man, I got Herring with Nice straight. Yeah. Oh, hand. oh, there's a nice straight hand to the head by a Herring. Straight left hand from Jermall Cholo. That was a that, that was long. Playing battle. I'm just playing battle. I'm gonna stop shit. I'm gonna stop playing. That was a bit low, yeah. Mm. It was a good punch, though. Man, Heron looks sharp, man. He looks sharp when he started against a oh, window. Yeah, he's, low, he's low. usually a good starter. He's usually a good starter. Oh, come mm. on, that wasn't that low. Cut, cut the shit. Cut that the was shit, way, Carl. yeah, yeah. Belt line. Come on, belt line. What are we doing? Cut the shit, Carl. Go show some dog, Jamel. Who are you gonna lose? I, I do agree. I do agree with that. He's, he's got to show some toughness. He's got to show he wants to keep that belt. Yep. Like, I'm just saying, like, if the rounds are even slightly close, I think Carl's taking them. You know that. 
you know this is in long. this is in the hotel that King Keenan hangs up, bro. Oh shit! Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. This is this real shit going on. But this this round so far, oh, I got forty nine seconds left, and it's looking like a herring round. Yeah, you, even even in, even in the pocket, Carl doesn't. Carl, I don't know. Not not didn't, not not effective. Not effective. Let's get this shit, Jamel. Let's get this shit. Let's get this motherfucking shit. Touch him with the jab. Get off first. Yep. There's a nice, another left hand hey, to the body. I like that left hands to the body. I like that he's going to the body with it. That's what you got to do. Into the torso. Right into the chest. Intangible, who do you have winning fight? Uh, who am I picking or how am I scoring yeah, this who round? You, who are you picking? Who are you picking? Herring on points. Ow. Who do you have? There's our tiebreaker. Me, me and Ring got herring. Yeah, it was three, three. It was three, three. And you broke the tie for us. It's, it's, it's four with um with intangible. Yeah, it can't yeah. be tangible. A tangible. Yeah. All right, I, I think that's the herring ground pretty clearly. That was, that was Frampton, clear. Frampton laying back. Frampton laying back, having a look. Good activity from Herring in this round. Good activity. Don't get me wrong. Herring's got to throw the fight away, but that's what I'm expecting. He's got to literally throw it, but that's what I'm expecting him to do. You, y'all, are y'all in round one? Yeah, yeah, we just oh, got okay. finished. Really. Okay. Yeah. yeah, currently, yeah, I'm, my round just ended. Yeah, Frampton. Yeah, Beats. I think you're right. I think Frampton's probably counting on Herring fading late, huh? I want even to even Frampton, though, in my opinion, has faded late in fights. Yeah, he has. Especially oh, yeah, gone. Yeah. I think Especially at one two six and one thirty, I don't know how he's carrying that extra weight. But he hasn't quit though. Has he, he did come on a little bit in the last few rounds against Warrington, but he gashed a bit against Scott oh, Clay, even at one twenty two. Frampton down. Frampton's really? down. They're saying it's not a knockdown, but I'm oh, not sure. Be beats okay, beats you're, you're ahead of us, Beats. You're ahead yeah. of us. Hey, are you ahead of us in America? America? What's going on? Here? Hey, what's because he's got it on Channel Five. He's got it on Channel Five. I got a ESPN Plus. Yeah, yeah, but I'm you're gonna... on the internet. He's on actual like TV. Ah, uh, but that Bob's should have been Bob, Bob, down. Bob Scree, yeah, that was a right no, hook. That was a right hook. That was a right hook. Slipped it's on that right favorite. hook. Yeah, that's some fucking. Oh, geez, caught him again right. with that right hook. It's not looking good for young Carl. Let's get this shit simplified. Man, I'm waiting for this. He can't miss Carl with a jab. Can't miss him. Carl's washed, bro. Think yeah. I was washed? He looks it. It's too small for the weight as well, man. Yeah, that's that's the reason. That's kind of what what is the tipping point for me picking Herring. He's had one fight at one thirty, and he doesn't he even look. Right as, he doesn't look Tyler nearly McCreary. as vascular. He looked yeah, all right against Tyler McCreary. I ain't gonna lie, but that didn't fool me. Yeah, but that's Tyler McCreary, you know. Cool. Exactly. I mean, you cool. Oh, your upper body exactly, movement there you know? from Carl, but he ain't, nice but right, he ain't landed nothing. Right hand by Carl. Carl from two. There you go. Yeah, he got one right hand to the chest there finally. He's trying oh, to work first. off the counter. Back in that straight line, Carl. He's back. having a real hard time closing the range, though. Like, the last two punches weren't, weren't even close. He should. The yeah. dude's got an eight-inch reach advantage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Yeah, that's what Harry's got to do. Just keep him out. Keep him out. Keep, Just keep that job pumping. Yeah, keep him out. Exactly. Nice straight left hand. Yeah, head movement. Carl's got to keep moving that upper body, but he's got to move in while he's doing body. it. He's got to double up the jab. That's his best bet. Double up the jab. Try to inch close, inch closer to him. Go, yeah. go, go, Gonzo, because there's a sneaky right uppercut by Carl. Carl is slipping and sliding. Ain't gonna do nothing but keep you on the outside, and you already there, bro. <laughs> you already on the outside. I want to see the knockdown again, man. I want to see it too. I want to see if it was a clean hook or if it was a push. On the back of the head. I guess the referee oh, may have thought it was like a like a puff with the right hand. It did look like a clean punch. It looked like he. It looked like he kind of. Oh. Okay. I've no idea what's going on. Too many people can't talking. Can't be a bad, good body shot by Carl as, as the referee yeah. tried to pull apart. Mm, this is a good fight, good right man. Nice good 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 fight. Fight. It's a damn good boy, bro. Looks like Carl had something there. Ooh, straight left from Ooh, there. Ooh, that was a good straight left. Now, now, Let's get yeah, this now, shit, now, Jamal. Now it's heating up. Now it's heating up. Carl is one shot, and that's to turn it into a war and try and get something. That's yeah. all you can do. If you, if you can't box this guy at range, no way. 
No, you, dude, he's too long. Way he's, too laying, long. He's, laying, he's laying way too far back for my I'm not talking about one and one. I scored that round for Herring. Yeah, closer, closer. closer. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Hold closer. on, hold on, people. Hold on, hold on. Ahmed might have given wait, one, the first round to Carl. One sec, one sec, people. Who did you say scored it one one? Ahmed. <laughs> I'll say no more. I'll say no more. I'll say no more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got a two zip. I've got a two zip to Herring. Yeah, the, the second round I thought was closer, closer for Carl, but it's still not not enough. But he's starting to find, uh, you know. I just want to see if they game. replay that knockdown. Yeah, I know. You know me too. Me too. Let me guess. The uh, IFL commentary has been much better than the DAZN commentary. Okay, okay here we go. Right commentary. hook, right on the head. Yeah, that, no, that oh, that's, that's not it. That's not, right? that's not the one. IFL made it big time. They put the advertising on the ring ropes and everything. Oof. I'm that's proud true. of Golden Cassius. I'm happy for him, man. That dude works hard. I said that before. I say it again. I respect anybody that works that hard, man. They, they should. They, that they dude should here sponsoring world title fights, bro. He's sponsoring a world title fight. Oh, call hurt by the left hand. You're hurt. Is he okay? He's getting battered. Yeah, he's getting battered. Share the pie, Coogan. Share the pie. <laughs> that was the funniest yeah. shit I've seen during the lockdown. Oh shit. <laughs> When Derek was laying in nice the nice sweet head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carl, Carl felt that one. Carl felt that he one. Busted on that punch. Yeah, Carl Frampton. Uh, he just doesn't look. It's uh, he, like his reflex to is too big. To... Oh, it's too big, too long. I don't even know if he necessarily even got hurt with that shot. He just the force of the shot just rocked him back so hard with his little ass. Because he keeps trying to lunge forward to get inside, and he's getting stopped at the door with straight punches. Is exactly. it just me, or do Carl's feet look a lot slower than normal? Yes. I was just about to say his feet look like they're in Watch this there. fight side by side with the Donaire fight. <sighs> you already know. Don't worry, man. Jamel's going to stop. Half step right, back, man. shoot the jab. That's what I was saying. Half step yeah. back, shoot the jab. That's all you got to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. Carl, Carl's, I don't know what the hell he's doing. He needs to have his head in Heron's chest. Don't worry. And, and turn this into, like, so we're just saying. Jamel just got caught. Just said it. Jamel just got caught. Just said it. Just got caught. Yep, good, good right hand by Carl Frank. One minute. Jamel six, is a notoriously quick start when fades down the stretch. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that could be what Frampton's counting on. So who Ooh. really knows? But that's easy. But Carl's got, Carl needs to get a better head movement than that shit if he wants to help you get that game plan because he may take too many clean blows to where he can't fucking do anything late on. That's mm. true, too. He's getting hit with a lot of jabs. Yeah, free down easily, unless you're yeah. that guy who just said it was two one apiece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the right, the right, that right hook when he throws it is nice from Heron. Throwing, he's pushing, catching, it's catching Frampton off balance. Possibly yeah, slow. Tax easy. You'll slow down. He will. You'll slow down. The question yeah, that, that, is, will there be enough left of Carl to where he could rally back in the mid rounds? Yeah. yeah I will say to... when Jamel Herring pivots, he is using his right hand to kind of to to kind of gain leverage on Frampton. He'll use it and use it on this on Frampton's temple, and he'll try to push off. Yeah. Yeah. Check him. Yeah, yeah, but he's, <laughs> but he's not using that with necessarily intents to, with intents to score. He's just using it to push off. Joe Taylor's in the studio. Well, that's all he's got to do. He's got to keep the little man out. Don't let him yeah, turn man. into a goddamn fight. That's all he's got to do. Head control. So I don't even know exactly. if it's going be a track hook. This round's a little more competitive down the stretch. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. Round three was dominant for Harry. Dominant. Well, I think you said. I think you said more, round. more more competitive. Not. This can come close to winning a round. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I think if people watch on playback, the first round there was a lot of missed shots. That's all I'll say. But it was the distance control that stood out in the first. That Carl, you. Carl just couldn't get close to the guy. 
I get and you, it, but you know people don't. You know that a lot of people won't take that into consideration. They'll probably just do punches landed, and true. there wasn't that many between them because people are stupid. That is <laughs> true. That's that's a very valid point. Yeah. Yeah. Some well, guys had it one and one at the end of the second. I don't know who these people are. Some guys named Ahmed. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> right. So I've got a three round. I've got a three rounds to zip. Yeah, I got three nil. Three, three nil. nil. He's, He's just got to stay on his jab. If he stays on his jab, this don't turn into a fight. Stay on four, your jab. I'll tell you what he needs to do. Just keep this up for five more rounds and then clinch him to death. And the fight's yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Went to Carl, Carl, Carl's not forcing anything. He's, he's laying back. Oh, and back up. Up. oh, oh. He took it well, though. He took them shots well. Oh, he's coming on, Frampton. Frampton wants, wants to rock. Okay, let's go. All right, that's it. You got his head in his chest. You got to stay oh, there. Oh, that hand by, by Jamel. Jamel's picking him up with some bombs on the outside. But Frampton's oh, still coming forward. Woo! Him again. But yeah, Framden, Framden, yeah, that's what he got to do. You got to put your gloves up and come in, come in, come in. Have a choice. He's got to try to pour it on. There's no yeah. way. Well, he tried the big left hook, Frampton just missed. Uh, this is a better, better round, better, more competitive round. I don't, you know, I don't know. Like, it's a cut. Yeah, Herring don't like that kind of fight. I think, I, I think he is. I think he's cooked. Is he what? cut? Yeah, is he, he is cut. Right? cut. Uh oh! Uh oh! 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 oh, oh now we oh. have the point. Let's go! Let's now we go! Got something. Now you got something to. There you go. You got something to work with there, Frank. Kyle's got some encouragement now. He's got something eh? to shoot. For. If the fight oh, stays, oh, oh don't, don't, dude, get yeah, it, Frank. Do fire. not start laying yeah, back. Yeah. You just had, you just yeah. had your best success, boring that man. I still think though. I still think though that if the fight stays inside and Herring still is on his P's and Q's, he still should be able to beat him inside simply because he's physically stronger. Like, he's actually catching him and being able to outmuscle him in exchanges. Is that the same? You're using too many big words for me, Antonio. Is that the yeah. same one, man? He's <laughs> landing a lot of shots. I got a minute left in the fourth. Is and that he's the landing a lot of shots. Might be for, right? Might be right? Right? Shut up, Mark. Let me ask a question quickly. Is that yeah. the second fight that got busted in the last fight? Yes. That's a good point, too. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Yeah, it's on the same eye. The right eye. Yeah. I had Frampton winning this round, and to me, he's blowing it yeah, now. Like, lay it out. He's laying he's back. He's blowing it. it. Whatever exactly. momentum you had in this round, he blew it. You're Man, blowing you it, bitch. Sonia. Yeah, exactly. You're blowing it, so you got to put that fucking out, high guard up. You got to put that high guard up and, and come boring in. That, that's the way it is. It depends what the corner can do the with the is, cut I right saw now. a moment late in late in the first minute yeah. where he was beating him up close. I think that discouraged Frampton. I'm not what too sure. Like, oh shit! What I like is the way he's How do you guys have it scored? Oh, it's oh, it's oh, oh man, man. Frampton's it. blowing this round. Frampton's blowing this round to me. I gave the round away. I got it. Oh, like, to Mel Harry. His yeah. highlight, right, is that the fact he got cut and he was still coming forward looking to take Frampton out. Now this is a different Jamel. This is a different Jamel. Maybe this the, is what the he thing with the the thing with the Akendo fight and what I think makes the difference there. Is Frampton's not going to the extent that Akendo did? This, even though he's cut, this isn't a super dirty, rough and tumble fight for no, him. No, it's not. Yeah, but, and, that, and I'm that's just gonna say this. I'm just gonna say this. Watch out for a possibility of this fight being stopped on cuts. Watch out. They better clean that shit up. Now that's the first. That's the first. That's the first round where if people gave it to Frampton, I'm not mad. I felt like he blew it. I had him ahead about halfway through, and then I felt like he let. He let Herring pull it back. Uh, uh, Herring landed all the dangerous blows, man. We didn't even see where Frampton. <sighs> Herring, the thing oh, is, Herring oh. actually had one cut during the Akendo fight. Or no, two cuts, actually. Uh, I think he's cut over Frampton. the one on the right. Frampton has to fight like he needs a stoppage. So, okay, sounds like you got 4 nil beats. I got a 4 nil. ring. You got a 4 nil. Did anybody Did anybody give that round to Frampton here on the, on the panel? No, I didn't. I got a 4 nil. Four zip. Frampton Carl, used to fire Carl, with Jamal Herrick. Carl had a good thing going, and it's a, he blew it for me. Frampton used to fight like Jamal Herring just grabbed his girl's ass, okay? He needs to yeah. come out there. I will say, say for all intents and purposes. What is I will say for all yeah. intents and purposes, the way this fight could be scored on the judges' scorecards, they could have it fucking even. 
New Nall PC. And I was course. just gonna. Yep. Yep. Yeah, exactly. ESPN. ESPN. ESPN just showed their thing. They they gave it. They gave that last round to Frampton. That's yeah, why in my prediction video I recommended the hedge. Carl Frampton <laughs> by decision. <laughs> but if the fight gets stopped on the cut, you lose it all. But thankfully, no money was put down. In tangent wire over here. I was just busted open again. Busted open. Frampton put his head in there wisely. Yep, Frampton. Yeah, Carl's using his now, head to push back on the oil a lot, man. Carl's doing the veteran shit. Hey. Yeah. Yep. Oh, he's down. He's down. Is down. Oh, that's, 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 right when we were getting a knockdown or a slip, though. Is it a knockdown? No, that was a knockdown. It was a right hand. Damn, he's way ahead. Yeah, he's way yeah. ahead, man. This is what? a fun war, man. Get Bob, it, Bob. This, yeah, Bob. Bob's pissing me off with this shit, man. I'm paying him. I'm paying him money. Oh, good knockdown. Walked into that fucking shit. Ow. Carl was having oh. success up to that point. Yeah, yeah. Carl looking hurt now. The thing is, he needs a knockout. Oh, that was a left hand, man. Yeah, that, that was, was a left straight hand. Left. Straight left, bam, down on that his ass. That was a beautiful shot, man. Coming in, yeah. Another so round, Carl. Really another really round. Carl's blowing. He wasn't really throwing any shots Everybody with Carl during there. those exchanges. He was trying to set that up, I think. Heron didn't really follow up, man. Oh, good one too. Why is what he's going to do now? So he is already losing the round. Well, I don't think he thinks that Frampton is legitimately super hurt because even though he did get dropped, it wasn't the heaviest knockdown in the world. So if oh, he tries shit. to rush in, I don't know. Fr Frampton could catch him by surprise, and I don't think he wants to get into an inside exchange here. Because Real quick, Frampton how long is left in your round beats? I've got twenty-two seconds left. Okay, Beats is about 20 seconds ahead of me. Okay. Beats is about 40 seconds ahead of me, dude. Yeah. Same. This is... Clear 10 This is a great fight right here, man. Even ESPN have to score this 10 Even ESPN. Well, of course. This is a 10 all day. The, who knows? The judges might have it 10-9. <laughs> man. They they can't they can't they can't stop the cut from spurting though. Maybe this maybe with more adrenaline cream this time it might, it might be able to slow it down a little. Nice body shot by your man. Heron should put a bit of a solution on those gloves, blind the motherfucker. <laughs> he should do what Sonny Liston did again. I was just saying yeah, some Sonny Liston shit. <laughs> the limit. Put hey, the on there. You guys Vito on to a Fermo did that as well against Hagler. Mm. In the second fight. Don't forget that. Ah, well, Hagler says it after the fight. like He, he felt like there was something on his gloves. He was blind. Oh, in the first right. was it well, he, uh, well, he paid for that, definitely. He walked into a jab. No, was it a straight left? Uh, yeah, it was a left. Straight left. Straight left, straight left yeah. on the torn, bro. Bam. Just took him clean. Yo, Carl looks out of his depth, man. Yeah, Oof. This it, Carl looks Carl Carl looks like an old man. Yeah, he does. Not taking nothing away from Herring. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. Well, there, that was the thing coming in, and, and and I agreed with them. Everybody was saying both these guys have kind of shown signs of having one foot out the door. Yeah. So speak. It was a right, man. Yeah. Right. Loser leaves town, like Mark said. Loser oh, leaves great town. left by Herring. Great left, but that stunned him. I don't think he saw it. Oh, I think Heron should just. I think Heron should go reckless abandonment out in this bitch, dude. He's gonna get robbed. Oh, Carl getting shaken now. That's what Frampton should have done, intangible. Yeah, and that, that's why he's. That's why he's getting swept here, in my opinion. It's because he fucking lay him back. Well, he doesn't the, have to. Are we all in agreement? Five, are we all in agreement that's five zip Heron with a tenny? That's what I got. That's what I, I got. got. I got that too. I got that too. Oh, left hand again. He's eating that left. Oh, it's out. It's over. Oh, shit. Spoilers, beats. Come on. What are you <laughs> <laughs> no, no one else say the name till I get it. No one else say the name because he didn't say the name. Oh. Oh, he got up. Oh, shit. And the referee's giving him a yes. Nice uppercut. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Come hey, on. Man. This has got to be. Oh. oh. Props to the ref. Props to the ref. Give him a count. <laughs> oh. 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 That was a huge uppercut. Oh, oh. come on, finish him, goddamn it! Oh. Get him the fuck out of here! Get him the fuck out of here! Oh, there's the uppercut oh. again! Finish him, Jamal! Right up to the body, uppercut again! Oh, finish no. him, Jamal! Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh! The towel! Jeez. There it is! Bro, there this is. is a brutal ref, bro! This there it is! That guy got a ref! Oh, my yes, sir! Yo! You better Ooh. kill this man if you're gonna get the win in here tonight. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. That's another ref. That's the another ref. Up. Yep, that's another ref. That that Ooh. ref and the, and the ref from that Cheeseman fight the other day, Mark. I want to see both them ref yeah, again. Yeah, my man, my man just uh, brought back the spirits of Charlie Daggard in that bitch. <laughs> Some, <laughs> Some Steve Smoker shit up in there. Too much for Carl Frampton. A valiant yeah, no, effort, but it's just a, a, too much of a mountain to climb, man. Too well, and, and I'm sorry, he got his tactics all wrong, Julius. It wasn't just that. He, he laying back like that. He, well, there saw. was only so much he could. Like, he's not going to. No, I know. But you saw what happened when he put the when he put the high guard up and just came boring in. You saw what happened. He was starting to have success. That's what you get, That's what you get man. You swap quality when you got rid of Shane. Hmm. Mm. That's true. That is true. Shane McGuigan is is Jamie Moore is a good guy, good guy, but he ain't Shane, and yeah. and, and, and and he ain't Shane. That's uh, the Shane's a proper trainer, isn't it? That's the first time practice has been stopped. Yes, certainly. That's the first time he's ever been done like that. Yeah, yeah. Career best performance for Jamel Herring. Yep. Well, I, got I wonder what Shakuro be thinking now, looking at that fight now. Well, you know what else I want to add to it? That even Maurice Hooker, you know, for when he decided to go over there with Brian McIntyre, he didn't look bad against Virgil Ortiz. And I tell you what, if he, he looked all right. If he can sort of the skin, the 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 the, 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 skin, the, the scar tissue on that cut there, he can beat your court. Mm. I, 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 I don't know about all that shit. Man, no, about all that shit. Shakur ain't got no power, bro. Shakur ain't got no power. He ain't got no power. <sighs> About All right, I, Fellas, I, I'll be back. I'll be back in like five minutes. I'm doing yeah. a quick pause for you, Julius. I, I really, I, and I mean this. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, I want to believe in Shakur, but, but God damn it, there's no crying in boxing. I know. I know. He was young. I know. I know. And it's. I know. You, it, you, I don't want to hold that over his head forever. But he's got to. You know what I mean. He's got to. You know, show me something that exercises. You know, those demons once and for all, if you get me. Hey, he was lethal, man. He was, he was. this one, man. I got I got to say that, uh, and that was at least, that's what I figured would be working against Carl, and I just didn't trust that Carl would be sharp enough to work his way around that jab in the distance control. That was, that was my whole thing, that, like, unless Carl becomes a completely different fighter overnight, I, I got to go Jamel Herring. Carl's got it, boy. Carl, yeah, he, yeah, he's never, yeah, he's never been that that kind of boring Joe Frazier type guy, has he? Now that you mentioned it, then. Yeah, I mean, and that's what he would have had to be to get yeah. because because he's a jabber, because he's a mover. That's what you have to work around. And I didn't, I just didn't feel like Carl was going to be able to do that shit, man. That's the only time he had success, though, is when he when he just came in, you know. Came in on some Joe Frazier shit, but like you said, that, that in fairness, that's that's never been who Carl Frampton is. Not for nothing, that Josh Warrington fight was stuck in my head too, man. Josh beat his ass like a drum, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Josh is not a punch like like Josh is a puncher in the sense that he's a volume guy, but he's not a heavy-handed guy. So, well, and, and if I remember right, Josh Kelly didn't even stop him. I don't think, did he? Wow. Does he fight Shakur? Doc, really Doc, does he fight Shakur or does he go for Oscar? I think he goes for Oscar. At this stage of his career, he probably goes for Oscar. Why why would he why fight why fight why fight Shakur for what? Well, Oscar could probably cost more damage than Shakur. 
Oscar's the one, though. Of that's course got he the, can cause more uh, damage. Uh, uh, he uh, just uh, smoked uh, Miguel Pachel. Yeah, Oscar's the one with the belts and, and probably where there's more money. Maybe he could. You know, it's possible. It's it's It could happen. I mean, maybe he can cause more damage than Shakur. Maybe. Hey, what, he's what got, what got more to gain, he's got more to gain against Oscar. He's got more to gain. What do you think about Jermo Charlo's resume? Oh, God, here we go. No. <laughs> <laughs> he missed Man. the whole thing. What do you think? Meh. Seriously. Meh. That's my opinion on it. Literally, just meh. Oh, all right, all right. I mean, that that's that's how I feel like. Uh. His 154-pound resume actually isn't bad, but his 160-pound resume, uh, to keep it simple, he leaves a lot to be desired. Well, yeah. to put it nicely. Yeah, because I mean, that's how I feel. That it's not that there aren't fight. There's look, look. I'll take Jermall Charlo versus Rob Brandt. I I'll take that. That's a good fight, as far as I'm concerned. But if you're not even gonna do that for me, then I'm like, well, I don't fuck them. Tough on Carl, but at least he tried, and I'm always gonna give him credit for that. At least he, at least he aspired to do something. There's a lot of guys that wouldn't. Poor Carl, man. And I, and I like Carl, even though he ducked Regal. But I like Carl. Loser leaves town. Loser leaves town, leave man. Down. Tough fight, man. Tough fight. Yeah, Carl's kind of grown on me in recent times. I don't. I, I used to think, you know, the, the Regal thing really turned me off to him, but uh, he's kind of grown on me a little bit over recent times. It's a shame this happened to him, but he's had a good career. It's probably time to hang it up anyways. He's not going to make any impact at 130, and I never really expected him to anyways, unless he probably just got a uh, decision here somehow. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine Carl trying to, you know, go in there with Oscar or, or even Jojo Diaz? I mean, he, he doesn't have the size for this division of the punching power. He just doesn't have it. And that's okay. That's okay. Not well, like having a good team around you, though. That that makes a world of difference. And Jamel does have a real good team around him. Real good team. And and being a smaller guy at the weight, Carl does not have the right style. He's like you. You uh, you you pointed it out quite correctly that that you know when I was imploring him to to you know be more of a you know. Collapse the pocket, as Dwyer says. He's just never been that guy. Yeah, and 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 that's that's the that's the crooks of it. He doesn't have the style for the job. He, he never did, and that's okay. It, it's okay. At least he aspired to. I won't knock him for trying to be a three division champion. He tried to make history. Doesn't always work out. And good and for what it's worth, good performance by Herring. He was you know put under some duress, had the cut, showed guts. There was yeah. questions. There was, there was rightfully so questions about that. Uh, that a lot of people pointed Jamel out. Herring proved when in doubt he could be a mid range hooker. Ah. <laughs> I love that we all use Dwyerisms. I love it. I, I do love it. Dwyer's getting too much shit lately. I don't like that. I like Dwyer. Yeah. I like Dwyer. Dwyer, Dwyer cracks me up. Dwyer cracks me up. I like Dwyer. Hey, like I said, I'll, I'll, Dwyer, Dwyer, I'll always have time for Dwyer just because of that fucking Deontay Wilder Canelo <laughs> bit. <laughs> I'm uh, never going to know what he has against Anthony Joshua. I'm never going to know, but... Big, yeah. clunky, big, clunky heavyweights. That's what that is. A big it, no, but he wasn't wrong. With, if you're talking about Dimitrenko, if you're talking about, you know, just some of these guys, Janu. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That, those are big, clunky heavyweights, man. Uh, <laughs> Ustinov is the definition of a big, clunky heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Now, now, I, you know, now that you mention it, uh, does does Herring does Herring go on from here, or does he retire? No, he doesn't. Uh, I don't think he retires. I think he tries for Valdez because that's a good money fight. That's a good fight worth good money here in the United States. 
Mm. I mean, it's the natural thing to do that. Okay. Well, I got past Carl. Let me see if I can unify. If I can unify, I extend my career. If it doesn't work out for me, at least I made a, you know, some money. He's already managing fighters. He's got a female fighter named Makia Krebs. Good, very good fighter. So he, he, he knows what he's doing, man. He's a smart guy. I, I, I just bring it up because he was talking about retirement. Yeah. You know, coming into this. Yeah. But I think he's got, I think he'll try for Oscar. It, it's the natural thing to do. Like, try for Oscar. If you can beat him, yeah, cool. This fight's, or today's just been a pretty fun day of boxing. I mean, the Uzbek MJ card. Looked, MJ looked great. Who thinks the stoppage was premature? Because I don't. I personally did think it was premature simply because even though I can somewhat understand it, uh, I do think that Iwasa in that particular instance, that was the first time he had actually shown being legitimately hurt. And I feel like he could, he should have had a chance to prove uh, that he, he could, he could remain on his feet and weather the storm. And especially when you have situations like Frampton and how he, he he was out on his feet for about half a round. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see that it was to had enough to keep going. I think it was to had enough to keep going. It's just, he took so many clean shots. It's like, all right, what are you doing, bro? Cause you're just getting hit with everything. Yeah, I, he's doing. I understand. I, I, I would just, I would have just prefer uh, personally rather it be that way. I would have rather it to be slightly more conclusive than it was. Obviously, I don't want to, I don't want uh, Ryosuke Awasa in a hospital. But if he could have, ju- if he had gone down in the yeah, referee way, there would have been as much complaint. Yeah, it would have been more definitive. More wow. conclusive. Did you see Jenny more afraid of Tolan? The guy's gonna get killed. He's got a family to go on to, bro. You no, 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 not Carl. Not Carl. The MJ fight. MJ Akmadalia oh. versus oh, okay. uh, Ryosuki Yeah, try. no. He's just like, like hold on. <laughs> yeah, 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 like Carl was done. Like I could see that. I was I was talking about that Uzbek card earlier. There were people complaining because they thought they felt that the stoppage was too soon. But yeah, I saw, but I don't know if the super bantam might be absurd, though, man. That was weird. I mean, like I said, he was just eating too many clean punches for me. So I'm like, yeah, I see what the ref sees. Like, this guy's getting hit too much. Yeah, this I, is I, he, 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 the, the guy is getting beaten up, man. He's getting beaten up. He's getting beaten I up. I feel I feel y'all on that, right? And I actually agree with you. I'm in agreement. But I, I, for to some extent, I understand where boxing fans are coming from. Because a stoppage like that at that stage, right, where he hadn't even gone down and – he he looked like his legs were still steady. They hadn't buckled yet. I know that for someone, let's say like Doc, for example, I'm going to use Doc. As the, no, hold on, Doc. Let me make my point real quick before you start laughing. I know that you need to nearly be dead for Doc to accept it, right? So when a guy is where he is, right, a lot of fans will look at that and go, nah, premature, without taking in the fact that there was 21 unanswered shots. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's what it is for me. Uh, 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 you see a guy getting hit that much clean, you wonder, even if his knees don't buckle, you wonder, does this guy get a brain bleed? Because he's getting hit too much. and he's That, not left, that left uppercut that dropped Frampton was scary, though, man. He went down in slow mo. Yeah, yeah. That took, that took everything out of him. That took everything out of him. I wasn't listening to the audio, so was there like a, was there like a big smackdown effect of when he fell down? I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, I don't know about the sound. All I can say is whenever I see a man hit the canvas falling down like a slinky, that is a bad thing. You know the way when you get yeah. a slinky and you let it drop down and it curves one way? Like, so he's going down, his knees curve down, his back comes down like that, like he's Danny from Greece down the fucking lean slide. That's what I saw. But like a like a tree, like a tree that's just been logged. <laughs> Pretty much, man. Only the trees fall in two parts in different directions. But that's a great uh, performance from Jamel, bro. I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm impressed. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see if Shakur's like, if Shakur goes, yeah, I want Harry Ness. I do want to be Aaron. I tell you what, he struggles to be Aaron, bro. He ain't got no power. 
Unless I'm just wondering if he's going to go more down the calling out Valdez route instead. I'm just wondering what's going to happen. I think he goes. I think he resorts to calling out Valdez and looking for Diaz. Maybe they can get him rock him off. I don't. I don't really know that they can. I wish they would. Just well, hang, hold on. I heard those two were close, anyways. That's why. Ooh, Shakur ooh, ooh, why wouldn't? Up, hang on. Why? Why wouldn't? If if Jermel, okay, if Jermel and Shakur both want Valdez. Why wouldn't why wouldn't Herring both why wouldn't Herring be the priority for Valdez and, and for top rank for that matter? Well, exactly. I think that Valdez I think that Valdez is going to look at Jamel as more of a priority than Shakur. Like I give That's Valdez, what I'm saying, I, yeah. I give I give Oscar all the credit in the world for what he did to Miguel, but there's always a part of me that feels that he doesn't want to run risks with Shakur. That there is a part of me that feels that way. That like he Shakur he just likes the box too much, man. Right? The two people who are like Shafikov Came and had a war exactly. with, with Harry Harry and beat them, right? And yep. the other guy, Aquendo, his boxing, that's caveman boxing, right? <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. that kind of style to, that, to, to Harry, right? And Shafikov, yeah. yeah. Shafikov, Shafikov, that was the blueprint that Frampton needed to try and be following. But like like Green pointed out, that's just never been his style. Well, who's who's going who's gonna to train who then? Aren't they both on their ball, Mike? Mm. Yeah, if Shakur's gonna, be... gonna give him room, then he's gonna have a long night, a long night with a long arm, long legged fight. It'll be very long for him. Very long. But Sh Shakur does have a serious speed advantage. I'll give him that. He doesn't hit hard, but he's got mad fast hands. If he beats him, if he if he can beat him to the punch, if he can beat him to the punch with the speed, even though he's not a concussive puncher, he can stun him. He can stun thing, him, though, right? You can hey, be really player, fast. Don't give away. With boxing, you, you can be really down. fast, but when you when you're up against length, your your speed is negated by 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 the length. I I, I understand that. I just not like right. So my things with Shakur, right? Whilst he doesn't have the power, I feel he's very good at getting off shots and touching people and making sure he lands. True as that amateur schooling, of course. But I think he's very good at doing that without getting touched by people, and he's often had reached disadvantages in the amateurs and made people look foolish. So, I, 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 I'll wait and see. It's a good point, though. Uh, my, I, my I, thing is happens, this. I think he shoots for Valdez. I think it's a, it's a, it's a non-starter. Yeah, well, yeah. What, 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 do, what, do, what does Herring or Valdez gain by fighting Shakur as opposed to each other? I don't get that. I don't get where that would make any Well, sense. I know that Herring, uh, Shakur is the mandatory to Herring, right? Julius? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he is. He is. He is the mandatory for that WBO belt, and he they were actually ordering that, and they agreed an extension. But he has to fight him next. But, yeah, that's the World Bob organization, man. Bob, yeah. if Bob, if Bob, if Bob wants to do Herring versus Valdez, he, he, I, I'm confident he can make it. I, I get that, but I think Bob wants more with Shakur because I think Bob gains more out of making Shakur start and just giving it to Valdez, and then if he can't get Valdez and Shakur to fight, he's fucked. But this way, he mm. has a way of getting two pieces of the puzzle at the same time. It's not as simple and rudimentary as yeah, we'll just do it all in house and make it all happen. Sometimes it just doesn't work mm. like that. Well, he definitely he definitely has an interest in making it. It suits his interest to try and make Shakur a star. I get that. I get that. They've been building him up as pretty boy. I, don't see they? Him as a star. I think he'll have some good wins. I don't see him becoming a star. You know what I'm wondering? What does what does MJ do from here? Because he's not going to get those unification matches. I mean, he's, he's so, not. So who's who else is there at 122? Been well, paying. Stephen I'm Fulton. Sure. Stephen Fulton's got the WBO. He run. He won it from um. Angelo Leo, but he's a PBC guy, low key like he's a PBC, and I don't blame him. But it's just you know, it's it's the politics, man. This is what it's gonna be. Mm. Um, Lewis Neary has the WBC. He's a PBC guy, and he's gonna fight mm. Brandon Figueroa. He's gonna and and look, Neary versus Figueroa, good fight. The winner of that fight versus Fulton, also good, good fight. fight. Hey, hey, that Figueroa fight's especially good if I get to see Figueroa's sister in the corner I, again. I, it's a I great fight. Be, I, I would be fine. I would be fine if if Akhmadaliev stays at one twenty two. I'd be cool if his next opponent is Hazar All right, all right. I don't know. I'd be cool. Who is that, Mark? Tell me about it. I, educate me. Educate me, please. Uh, he's an Armenian guy. He's, uh, he comes forward. He's pretty strong. He has a couple of losses, but I think he's ranked inside the top ten with Ring Magazine. Um, there's not really a whole lot of name credential I can give you to him and who he's fought against. I believe he has a loss to Ray Vargas, if I'm not mistaken. 
off head. Okay. No, no, Mark, no shame in that. Ray Vargas is I, I like Ray Vargas. Ray Vargas is all right. right. Mark, what do you think head. about Madrimov? Um Madrimov's been the same for me throughout the years. He's a very exciting guy. He's always been hittable. Um, he he kind of uses too much excess movement and tires himself out as rounds progress and starts to clinch a little bit more and finds himself easy to time. Um, also, with how much he's moving side to side and trying to change off angles, it's quite easy to time him because he does it on the same beat every single time. Now, I'm going to so ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Who, who have you been more taken by the last two, three fights? Tim Zhu or Madrimov? Tim Zhu is fighting better competition, so Zhu. I, I agree with that. I agree with but, that. But um, for me, the person out of the prospects at 154 that I'm most interested in is Charles Conwell. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. What is Tim Zhu ready for, in you guys' opinion? Like, I, 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 beefy. I, I'm really... Beefy. If Beefy makes it through the card in Russia, give mm. me Tim Zhu versus Liam Smith. That's a fight. But even if even if Beefy loses, it's Korbanov, right? That's who yeah. he's fighting. Yeah. Russia. If he loses to if he loses to Korbanov, Korbanov's a good opponent as well for Tim. Korbanov can fight. If he beats Beefy, then there you go. The other person I would say, I think the next one for me, if I were to be matching Tim myself, my next opponent for him would be Jack Okay. That's a good fight. Does Cole K still make 54? Yes, he does. He fought Abbas Baru at 154. Okay, so, so well, that you was All right, Yeah, yeah, he did. I forgot about that. So so he's not ready for, say, Castanio? No. No. Not yet. No. Yeah. No. Him, I'm, 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 I'm sick of these guys who come off of a win over Dennis Hogan or some shit. <laughs> Let's throw them in with somebody who's way better and more experienced. Well, the, I mean, at some point, that's what's got to happen, though. Yeah, at some point, but isn't it, it – like, look at it like this. At the fight beforehand, he fought a wash, a wash faded Jeff Horn. After that, he fought a slightly faded, coming off of two wars back-to-back -back after been knocked out by Charlo at 160, coming down and weight Dennis Holden. The and next a year layoff. Yep. And a year yeah, layoff. Yeah, yeah. So now let's look at his next step. If you want to start looking to get him towards that world level thing, a guy like Jack O'Kay, who's awkward, has durability, has stamina for full 12, can make things awkward for you in there. If you're active, you should be able to beat him. If you can't beat Jack O'Kay, you don't belong in that conversation. Well, and and Koke, Koke has, been, has given has given top level fighters hard times. Like okay, hard now, now, now let's run down a list. I like Koke. I like um, Liam Smith. I like Kerbinoff. I like Jesse Vargas. I also like Michael Zarat. Yeah. I like yes, Agreed. Say what? Say what, Beats? Give Tim Zoo Ted Cheeseman. Oh, good. Ooh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you, you, oh God, I love that. If people want to, I like it. I like it. I like it. I've won other. I've won other choice. I've won other choice. Let's say he comes through Ted Cheeseman. Right? How y'all feel about putting Tim Zhu in there with Sergio Garcia? I put him in there right now, man. If you're looking for a foul shot, you know what I mean? Like, and you've got that guy there that's slick boxing, you might just upset the zoo, man. You might just be yeah, like, they can put him in there with, the very with him right now. I, intangible, I didn't hear a word Beach was saying there. What, what were you saying, Beach? I'm just saying it's very chancy because that guy is a slick boxer. He might just, just put on one of their performances and just, 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 um, just outbox him, you, like that's really, it's chancy. It's chancy. It's chancy. I'm gonna say that. I'm just, I'm just tricky. saying, if he goes in there and looks the business against Sergio, he okay, Colquet's too tricky for him at this point. I wouldn't put him in there with Coke, but I'd put him in there with Beefy to test his intestinal fortitude because Beefy's tougher than he's given credit for. He's but Beefy. Here's the thing about Beefy though. Beefy not tricky in the same way Jack is from a boxing point of view. But Tim likes to walk on the inside and at mid-range. And Beefy is a brilliant person at cutting you and making you bleed and getting little headbutts off. and give. That's that's a different type of shit. That's a different type of tricky. Okay. 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 So I, I'll be honest. Wherever he goes from here, he's stepping up. And it's the proven ground. Because once he steps up from the level he's at now with the Hogans and maybe as a Rafa, after that, you're dealing with good fighters no matter what. They're all good fighters. 
everyone we're naming, Jack O'K, Beefy, all these guys, they're good. Tim's a little robotic to me. He's a little robotic. A little, but that's because we – I don't think that the – see, that's the thing. You, you you go in there with Dennis under these circumstances. And Dennis is a tough guy, at least at that level. He is a tough guy. But none of those guys are all that hard to hit when we think about it. When has Jeff Horn been hard to hit? You know? When? Bowen Morgan. Mm. Like, really? Bowen Morgan. I think Zarafa is a. I think Zarafa is a good opponent for him. Zarafa's I think Zarafa is a. Listen, I think Zarafa is a great opponent, and that's a good domestic fight that's worth a lot of money because he could sell out with Zarafa. Those he two could. guys, they could make some money. They're good. You can call it. You can call it the stripper zoo. Oh come on! Well, let let the past be in the past. The guy had to make some money. What do you want? I'm just okay. saying. Okay, okay Sean Davis. Have you, have you guys seen the case? Okay, Sean Davis. And Richmond, Ashley? Yeah, I saw that. The good uh, Davis looked great. Davis um, looked great. I'm tuning into it now. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. I was busy doing stuff. I'm going to watch it soon. Um, but I'm really high on Keyshawn. I think he's a very mature young guy. Just needs to show up his head movement a little bit. But he, he, he could be the works. He's from a great place, Norfolk, Virginia. Yeah. I'm high on that kid. He's only two fights in, but I'm high on that kid. You've every right to be. He was a top amateur, man. Sweet Pea territory. Kid Norfolk territory. Yeah, Kid Norfolk. The great heavyweight. Seen a lot of Jalalov stuff. I missed the Jalalov fight. Jalalov Rice. Yeah. What's next for that guy, speaking of? Uh, the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, anyway, back, he's going back to Tokyo, man. Yeah, wow. he's already qualified. He's already actually qualified for it. But uh, Julius, um, as far as Jalalov goes, I'll tell you what you missed. You seen a fat guy hold a high guard, get punched up, get cut, get dropped, and the same thing happen again. And that dude just sink into his corner and take about forty two seconds to finally stand up again. You didn't miss <laughs> what I noticed though is like is is Kale because it's dried up in the amateurs, man. That's why he went back to knock people out. It dried up. It dried up over over the last ten or so fights. I I understand why though, because I've been watching him. Like we can look at the box tracks and stuff. I've been watching all of those tournaments. He's been fighting on the back foot, just using the jab in those fights. He's not taking any for anything for chance at the moment in the Amis. He's just bo- out boxing these guys clean, man. Winning every round. So so when do we when do we see that guy at at you know? Not obviously not world, but wouldn't we see him in the pros in, in meaningful fights? He won't do anything to the pros. Wait, wait, wait. Did, Ooh, you guys see okay. who, did you guys see who, who Tony Yoke is supposed to be fighting next? Like, what the fuck is going on here, dog? Who's he supposed guy, to be fighting yeah. next? Skippy He's today? Fighting. Don't just say, did you see? Who? Uh, what's the guy's name, man? I was like, yo, what the fuck? From Christian Hammer to... to j- j- I forgot the guy's name to this. I'm like, yo, dog, like, what are they doing with this? Oh, he's he also he's stepping, he's stepping, taking steps back. Is what you're saying, Julian? He's, yeah, he's going backwards. He's going backwards. But I've been noticing that a lot with the 2016 yeah. prospects, man. Yeah, yeah. It's not a lot. Now, is this Hergovich? How about okay? Speaking of a prospect, about is this Hergovich Hunter thing for real? I mean, I it's for so. real. It's I for don't. real. Look, it's for real in the sense that the IBF ordered the fight. And it's okay. going to go to a purse bid, and somebody's okay. going to have to bid on the fight. Somebody's okay. going to have to, but it's conflicting it's because it's conflicting because Michael Hunter said that nobody called him, <laughs> but Eddie Hearn was on IFL saying, "Yo, we emailed this dude. Answer your emails, B." So I mean, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Michael Hunt was full of it, bro. That's what's, what's up here. Look, can, can Julius, will I will I tell you the little bit of private the private investigating I discussed with you yesterday that I did, right? Yeah. That gave us a call. It didn't give us clear answers, but maybe so. So Cali Sauerland mentioned in an interview, alluded to that Michael Hunter has new advisors, but nothing's been announced yet. So I went over while he was on his Instagram live and I put a question in the chat and I said, Do you have new advisors? And he said yes. And he went to read my next question was, by any chance, is it Al Haim? And he said, I'm right about, and then he, he read the question and he didn't answer. Now, if it wasn't Al Haim, to me, he would have said, no, it's not Al. 
No. If it's Al, then, I mean, this is the funny thing. If he has Al Heyman as an advisor and he decides to walk away from this fight or play dumb or whatever it is, he's shooting himself in the foot because you ain't going to fight for no title on that side of the street. You can fucking forget it. I the told, biggest I told that crowd, man, who made him some cult hero, they didn't disappoint you. I told him. If, if, if he walks away from the, the Philippe Hergovic fight, on the other side of that fight is everything you want as a heavyweight. The title fights, the paydays, the, 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 the pay-per-views in the UK, I'll go as far as saying, because Eddie Hearn is the gateway to the United Kingdom and all of those fans. You want to make an impression. Now, you go fucking around with Al, and all he's going to do is have you fighting two times a year against journeyman. Yeah, you, Hergovich, you, yeah, Hergovich puts him right on the doorstep, don't it? I mean, it does. On the other side of Hergovic is Dillian White, is Derek Chisora, is a rematch with Oleksandr Yusik on the other side of that fight. But you got to have it. You can have a whole lot. If you get a win over Hergovich, right, you're the, you'll be the IBF mandatory. You know what that guarantees you? It guarantees you a title shot. Unlike any other sanctioning body, if they don't agree to fight you, they're stripped. Yep. And it's that you should be pushing for that get shit. The payday, either you get the payday or you, or get, you get the, the title. You shot. can't lose. Either way, you get a title shot. No matter what with the OBF, you'll get one. Like if I was advising fighters. I'd be advising them to be the mandatory for the IBF belt, always. I don't know, man. I mean, it'd be pretty boneheaded to get this far and start prioritizing the short game when you know this is the IBF, bro. They're going to order the fight. You just right. have to get to the other side. And, and, and even if, even if, even if, even if. Uh, say say it, it turns into a situation where the, the IBF strips whoever, Right. And and Hunter fights fucking you know we'll just throw a name out there Charles Martin right and punches him up to win the title, dude he's in the argument for like best American heavyweight. Yeah, honestly, at that point. If yeah, they was, well, like well, no, 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 because um I'm I, look look I know a lot of people aren't gonna like this. I'm really fucking high on Jared Anderson, so I, I'm just gonna put that out there, and I think he's probably. But he, hasn't done, but he hasn't done anything yet. Dude. Not yet. We, not yet. We do have to wait. Like, I went over Kings Leo, I bet this will make it the number one. <laughs> but my point is, he, you know, be, be, it, it, again, obviously that's all very hypothetical. But if that happened, him being in possession of a belt, he could be like, you know, hey, yeah, whatever, Wilder, I, you, you, you ain't got nothing. I got, I'm at least a champion. Remember me this, right? Wilder turned down 120 million on Al Heyman's clock. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. the f would you sign this guy to advise you in that weight class? Because of the cash incentives they get. Look, this is a theory that I have. This is the, and it's just a theory. But the it's reason quite. that guys, the reason that a lot of those guys are quote unquote loyal to Heyman is because they get cash incentives not to fight. So it's money for nothing. And it's not big money, like two, three, four, five, seven million or something like that. But it's free money. Like, you know what? Don't don't take that offer. Here, take this five hundred thousand dollars. Go on a vacation. I think that's what's going on. And <laughs> Man, I also money, think money, money for nothing. Now, wait a minute. Free, I want to yeah. add to that. The only way that Al Heyman could have sustained these kind of business practices for this long is if he's laundering money. It's the only way. And everybody does it. Everybody, everybody does it. But except there's no for, except except for the big DK. Exactly. Exactly. But other than that, other than <laughs> oh, that, oh, oh, did you just my man Daniel? Yeah. Daniel's squeaky clean. Don't oh, know I, thought was, different. I thought he was going to say. I thought DK meant Don King. Or I thought were you going to imply that Don King did never launder my talking name? about no, my guy I'm Daniel? That, I'm implying that squeaky clean Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, Daniel is squeaky clean. He wouldn't hurt a fly. So that's, that's not bringing I'm just trying to say, man, if, 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 if anyone thinks differently, prove it. Exactly. And I'm not talking about that panorama shit. All right? <laughs> all right? All right? Yeah. Like, oh but I, honest, honest to God, between the and, – and, and we all know this. 
the cable and satellite companies, they take half of whatever comes in. So you're talking about half of 100,000 pay-per-view buys with the Charlos, half of 225,000 pay-per-view buys for Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia. The only way that you can sustain a business like this is if you have some kind of outside source of revenue and you're just using this as a front to launder money. That's the only way it makes any sense at all. Is this still with a hit fund? I mean, it wouldn't shock me. Wouldn't shock I mean, me. I mean, honestly, would be any of us be? Like, come on. Would do you think? Do we think? Do we think Bob Arum's never done some shit like that? Oh, come. Let, let me tell. Let me tell you something about Bob. Uh, Bob Arum. We no. We don't have. You don't have. I. I've, I've got the best line in the world about Bob Arum. Before I've said. It listen, listen, times. Doc. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I just want to make this parallel. Have you yes. ever seen The Devil's Advocate? Of course, of course. Yeah, yes. you, know, you, remember El Pacino? you remember El Pacino? Yes. That's Bob yeah. Arum. <laughs> That's all it is. That's all it is. And I like the guy. I, I, hey, this is the world that we live in, all right? And you need Bob Arums. You need Bob Arums. Hey, I, I've always said, I've been saying for years now, I hope I'm, if I get, if I make it to Bob's age, I hope I'm half that sharp. Yeah, because you know that what I mean? man's like a fucking hundred years old, and he doesn't like <laughs> to pee. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, I'm going to shut this live down. Uh, it was a great fight. I'll see you on the next live. Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it as always, Julius. This was Everybody a great yeah. fight.